welcome back. What up, what up, what up, man? We fucking back, man. God damn, we back in the motherfucking booth, man. I was about to rap this shit. <laughs> the Shivers A Bike Podcast, man. Episode 20, goddamn nine. We did about 10 episodes when we, over the phone because of the whole stay at home shit. So I had to come back with some people I know was going to be live, funny, talk some shit, drink a little bit. I didn't want the traditional questions and where the fuck you grew up at and all that bullshit. I just wanted to talk some shit. So uh, last time we was all together was fucking New Year's Eve. Podcast and we didn't know 2020 was gonna be like this, <laughs> right? Niggas well, had goals. Ain't and, nobody know this is gonna happen. It's just crept up on us. Just well, boom. niggas knew. We didn't know. But they know. <laughs> right. Niggas yeah. right. shit out there. So you don't be- you believe the same thing I believe? I this think shit, it was overplay for the underlay. A motherfucking just a goat wandering into the water <laughs> on some cabin fever shit. I mean, come yeah. on. Niggas now. made this shit in the lab <laughs> and they fucking tested it on some shit and they got the okay for it and then they. Came up with a plan how they gonna disperse this shit through the whole world and the <laughs> whole world yeah. got it. Hell yeah. Well, that, for y'all, I introduce y'all as Cheese. Cheesy motherfucker champ. What up, though? Shout out to all the girls who ain't got no nipples on their titties. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the homie Chase West and shit. What's up, everybody? <laughs> you know me, shit. Shout out. I got Q behind the boards and shit. Q Lewis. Yeah. The artist formerly known as Hood Howard Stern. You was Hood Howard Stern, I think, when we... Uh, yeah, why did, you, why did you why did you change your name? Can I ask you a question or no? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, fuck it, you can't lie. Oh. But uh, legitimately, I changed my name because I was trying to forge my own path. I'm going to quit using other people's moniker and use my own name. So yeah. there's that. That's yeah. what's up. So that's that's so, some intelligent ass yeah. shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> right. When you said forge, I'm thinking, oh, this nigga's on some fraud shit. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he wouldn't say that on camera. Man, so before we uh, get I don't to- know. Niggas love getting on camera self-snitching these days, though. Oh, yeah, hell yeah. That's hell like yeah. The, the, the number one thing to do. Oh, nigga, I just shot Lil Tay Tay around the corner. Look, I stupid, used this though. gun. This nigga stupid. Dumb. Shit, before we get into the, the shit, because there's a lot of shit to get into, man. We we started off some new, some shit when uh, Kobe had passed away. I started some shit oh, called- man, rest in peace. Yeah, yeah. salute yeah. me while- That shit was sad, man. Salute me while yeah, I'm here. So that's when you don't do the typical person, like somebody you kicking it with. Your mom, your dad, your kids, like somebody who wouldn't uh who wouldn't uh, expect a uh, shout out or salute. So while y'all think about that, I'll go ahead and shout my nigga Reg out, dog. He going through some shit right now. My nigga uh I grew up with shit, probably one of my closest friends, nigga got to a uh an accident um fucking Friday night on a motorcycle got hit. So nigga little fucked up right now, broke his arm, hip, fucked his knee up, mm. got a little bleeding in the brain and shit like that. So Damn. salute to him, his family. Hopefully he pulled through this shit. Praying for a family. Hope, hopefully everything be straight. Yeah. I want y'all make shit sad, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of yeah. serious, though. Yeah, no, serious as hell. Like, that's why I don't re- I can never fuck with no motorcycle. Like, I'm good. Yeah, I swear yeah. on that. I fuck with a little moped. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's kind of fun, but I ain't really trying to be dipping through lines fuck on 696. So yeah. I'm good. When you got that motorcycle, like, you gonna want to test that motherfucking speed out eventually. Yeah. I'll I have me an old man cruiser. Like, let me cruise. Like, just imagine, when you in the car and you try to avoid a pothole, you hit that bitch, that bitch shake the car. So if you're on a motorcycle, yeah. you're right. about to twirl off that motherfucker. I ain't even think about that. For oh, real? No. Nah. Hell yeah. So who y'all got in mind as far as y'all, y'all shout out or salute? Oh, let me let Cheese go first because I got to think. Uh, <laughs> shit, man. I just want to shout out I mean, I can't get all generic because I don't really have to think about it. It's like when you win an award, you want to expect it. You like, I want to thank God. <laughs> man, I just want to thank everybody who fuck with me, man. Like, people be thinking I'm just staying off. I, I do be to myself, but, man, I, I'm a nice person. Yeah. I appreciate everybody who fuck with me. Dang. Fuck with me, I fuck with you. And y'all see a difference. My man, he grew a fro and shit. Uh, like, yeah, I'm keeping the hair. Man. I like the hair, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be an R&B But well, everybody grew their hair out, though. Shit, I couldn't. You couldn't? <laughs> Hell no. Shit. If you don't know how to cut your hair, you was hit. I'll be out here looking like George Jefferson, boy. I, I, look, y'all got bald head, because that was a nice little, you know. 
Yeah, I didn't even know That's you had a ball head because you always had your hat on. No, I ain't really. Let's see it. I ain't ready for it yet. Yeah, you don't want to come. <laughs> I'll let you, I, off camera, I might. I'll Offline, all right, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. I ain't ready for people to see that yet. Hey, what camera's supposed to be looking in anyway? Shit, either or. Either one. Oh, yeah, this is this. One. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this was here. All right, so is who this you? like moving? I saw it real, yeah. real quick. Uh, I edited that, but uh, when like when y'all start talking. Then it's coming to you. So like when you when you start talking, making the point, then it's gonna be here. Okay. Like basically, when he talking, where it's like the, all three of y'all had to be here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So like once he hit you off, like so, kid, what you think? Then you look into it. You know what I'm saying? Once he point okay, y'all okay. out, then we here with you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but you was asking me. <laughs> Producer of the year. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you was asking um like who we want to shout out. Yeah. I want to shout out this. <laughs> listen, I don't care. I want to shout out myself. Okay. I'm serious because I'm proud of myself. Like I've been doing good. Like even though this pandemic came or whatever, I like I made them. I really did make the most of it. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like I don't want to. I don't want to toot my horn to go into detail, but I did make the most of this, of this time that we had. Where really, for real, for real, like I ain't saved so much money in my life. <laughs> you know, and I was blessed to still be an essential worker, so I still had a job. Well, you know, so that was that was a, that was a blessing. But um, yeah, shout out to me. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, uh, where y'all want to start, man? Y'all want to start with this fucking corona shit? Y'all want to start with the Black Lives Matter? With this motherfucking protest? Please like, don't make me talk about the coronavirus. We, we gonna talk about it. Oh, we, we coronavirus? Talk about it. <laughs> which one y'all want Which one y'all want to start off with? Just die right in. Fuck it. Well, see, we gonna get to the corona shit then first, then. Since that's, that was the first thing that happened with us before the whole, you know, protest and shit. So, when it started, like... Like, did y'all believe that shit? Or was y'all like, you know, it ain't shit. It's going to be like some little bullshit, like how the Ebola shit was. Like, it ain't going to hit for real. When I first initially heard about it, they shut everything down for two weeks. I'm thinking like, okay, bet it's like a little two-week situation. Yeah. Everything will be right back. But then when they got to taking it to the next level, I started to be wondering like, okay, what's going on? Yeah. Then they started saying stuff like wear a mask and all of this. And so I'm like... This don't seem right. Like this, this, this don't seem right. So I started doing my like, own little research or whatever, and I'm like, I don't know. I start finding things out. Like I don't want to call out no names because I don't, I don't really want to get into that. You. you know, <laughs> but I have started researching some things that um didn't add up to me, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, no, I think this the overplay for underlay. I believe that it was put out to instill fear in us to get a certain reaction so that they could basically accomplish a different agenda that exactly. wasn't that wasn't put on the platform with the coronavirus. Yeah. That's yeah. what I think. Yeah. And with, with me, before I get the cheese, like, like I thought it was some bullshit from the jump. Like, I'm like, oh, whatever, man. Like, it, it ain't going to hit America for real. Mm -hmm. And that bitch hit America like, damn, this shit ain't going to fuck with Michigan for real. <laughs> 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 she right. hit Michigan like, well, shit, that shit ain't going to fuck with black people for real. <laughs> Bam, that bitch fucked black people up. Like, I ain't really... Take it serious at first, cause I'm like, dog, like whenever shit like that happened, never hit, no, it never hit close to the crib, right. or it never hit nobody that you know and then like that. So I really didn't believe it, like, and to be honest, I didn't believe that shit until uh, I watch an NBA game, mm. and them, them motherfuckers stopped the game at jump ball, like, damn, this shit gotta be real, like, nigga, yeah, like, shut that, shut that shit, down. man, yeah, I'm watching the game, like, damn, this shit fucked up, and then that's when we found out one of the niggas had it, nigga had passed it. So then that bitch in Oakland County, Wayne County, I'm like, dog, I ain't gonna lie, nigga, I started getting nervous, like, I started getting nervous as fuck. Like, I I thought I had that bitch for a minute, dog. Like, cause I, I, I think everybody did. Everybody, <laughs> at some point, everybody that you, thought that they you had cough, it. you cough, you got a little hot, like, yeah. oh, man, my tired, I think I got out. corona. Like, everything, dog. For real, like, for real. For real. Before I get into that part, what, what about you, Cheese? Did you believe it? When, believe it, when it? it first popped up, like... It's just like, ah, uh, it's some bullshit, whatever. They just acting all wild. I mean, luckily, nobody that I know or myself ain't ain't get the shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But after a while I did, then I'm like, damn, this shit, this shit real, dog. Yeah, like, yeah. damn. For real. Basically, when they start giving niggas money, I'm like, this shit real, real. <laughs> See, and that right there For was real. some okie doke shit to me. Like, that was like to, that's like pulling the wool over your eyes. Like, you gonna give me some money now. Okay, yeah. so, first of all, I still, I never got no stimulus check. I do not make $75,000 yet. Damn. I didn't get no stimulus check. They ain't gave me a nickel or a dime. And they haven't gave me my income taxes. So, I just Damn. wanna put that out there. Y'all can see my money. Yeah, oh, yo, you yo, yo, some major bread. Yeah. They got my cousin some money. He been looking for his wrong to check for <laughs> For the longest shit. They can just drop that in my account shit, and that'll be they, good. They, they, got, they got different proposals trying to do some new shit. Like, see, it's in all that <laughs> shit. See, I got that good 17. Shit, that shit was straight to hit the bank account the same time as my uh my girl. So, shit, I, I mean, we couldn't do shit with it for real, but yeah. buy some food a little bit or some shit. Right. But shit, 
one time, go back to the when you thought you had it. I remember I was at work and I had diarrhea. Uh, so uh, I'm in that bitch like, I thought it was a. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. You know, Shaw gonna say anything. <laughs> All right, you had diarrhea. Go ahead, baby. Finish. So I'm at work with diarrhea. <laughs> so I'm like, damn, like, what if this one of the symptoms, like, as far as this corona shit? So I'm on the phone, you know saying, in the bathroom looking at this shit. They were like, no, nah, they ain't want to sign. So I'm like, thank God. So then, like, the next week I go home, I start feeling weak. Like, my legs is weak. I'm fatigued. This nigga posted a pit, uh, video of somebody and said, black tea, like, kind of help your, uh, your immune system or whatever. So I'll go to uh, Target, get a whole bunch of black tea. That shit nasty. Hell yeah. I'm drinking that shit every day, nigga. Yeah. Like... I thought I had this shit because, like, for two straight days, my whole body felt weak. So, I mean, that bitch getting scared. But I think my girl dad was scaring me because this nigga kept calling me every fucking day on the hour just talking about this fucking corona shit. Talking about, man, we all going to get it. And, and, and you got to be careful. You at work. Like, nigga, scaring the fuck out of me. So, nigga, I thought I had All this people shit. was tripping. Yeah. I thought I had this See, shit. See, that type of shit, that's like, I don't know if this the right term, but creating false narratives for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right. Like, you trick yourself into thinking that shit. Yeah, yeah. and that's how your mind, where people don't know the power of your mind. Yeah, you can, that's your true. mind can make you sick because you have convinced yourself that in your head mm -hmm. that you are sick, and then your body going to react to that. Mm -hmm. Most definitely, because I, I was over here doing that show. The last show uh, I, I had before we had uh, shut down, man, I was with this boy, ass cute. I was with this boy, nervous as hell. Like, I had to get extra drunk just to do this shit. That's when we did the movie. Uh, uh, uh dog, you about to get married. Oh, yeah, yeah. We gotta have Malcare to finish that jump. We gonna have you come back. Oh yeah, I was <laughs> watching them too. <laughs> yeah, that's just funny as hell. But uh yeah, so it was like I thought I had that shit. I got hella nervous, like I'm in that bitch breathing over a uh, boiling water with lemons and shit, uh, orange pillings. Like I was hearing that. <laughs> so I'm doing everything like, dog, I'm gonna I'm kill this shit if it's in me, like for real. Did you hear about that man that over in another I don't know what country it was, I don't even, if I don't even wanna say the country, but another country uh, basically, their president sent got some coronavirus kits or whatever. He tested like an animal. He tested um a fruit mm -hmm. and sent That's the test fun. back, and he gave the the test um names like it was an actual person, like Damn. you know, Shad or Kia, or whatever. And anyway, the test came back positive. Okay, and so he was like, something going on. Like how <laughs> how is these tests come back positive? How, a fruit got corona right, right, virus right. now. So they was probably motherfucking. Test kits that was already designed yeah. to say you got the shit. Yeah. You don't got it. Yeah. Do you know they tried to say that um, George Floyd had coronavirus? What the fuck? They ain't got shit to do with what happened to him. Yeah. Man, let me tell you what. I don't got time for it. Listen, the media is full of it. Oh, yeah, it is. And like I said, that shit, it's gonna, like you said yes, uh, earlier, I said yesterday. Damn, I'm, I'm buzzing already a little bit. Uh -oh. But once they push that shit on, if you see it on, we see it on the news, we see it in sports. You see it on, the, on, on on every social media site. Like, you're going to start believing that shit because it's in yeah. your face every five seconds. That's why I don't watch the news. That shit like mental programming. Yes, that's exactly yeah. what, man. Brainwashing. Yes. So, now, when they was enforcing the curfew and shit, I, I think it was India. Mm -hmm. Man, this shit was, it's funny, but it's <laughs> fucked up. You know them little Indian, in, what is they, Indian niggas? But not like, <laughs> not like Native American Indians. They like from India. So okay, okay, okay. from India, what are they? Uh, Indian? I, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I think of Indians, I think of like Native Americans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, Cherokee it was over in India. I, I think it was. They was enforcing the curfew. They had little bamboo sticks. These niggas riding on mopeds just slapping niggas. Like, Duh. get in the house. Like, dog. <laughs> I'm talking about a nigga literally like just whooping niggas with the stick. Just like, oh man. no. No, that shit was it was it was funny, but no, it was that fucked shit, up. Wait, like, I want to see that. Pull that up on oh, your yeah, phone. I that shit for sure. I'm gonna have to find that. Whooping ass, like they were that is not funny. I'm sorry. For real. I did not mean to laugh. Yeah, These but no, that's not okay. What was that the movie? It was funny because the mo this shit was in that in this movie I watched on Netflix. I heard um, they took it off, or is it back on that? Oh my god, they was sick. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. But the movie. It was the same shit. They called it the same shit. What to movie? stay home. It, I forgot the name of the movie. But oh, I know what you're talking about with that lady with the um, orange hair, and it was a man. They was married. I think I, I'm lying if I tell you that you're right, because I don't even remember like that. Like I just remember like she was in China for work. Yeah. And she wanted to bring that shit back to America. So it was one person. Damn, this nigga, my super producer, and fuck this shit up, dog. Keep it on there, though. Fuck what? <laughs> so uh, I guess she came from China and kind of like just. Pass that bitch around like that one person uh -huh. contact made contact with so many people through other people that it just fucked everything up. And into the movie, it showed that a bat had ate a piece of banana and it fell to the ground, and the pig ate it. The pig got to a restaurant. The chef was cooking the pig and wound up taking a picture with the lady without washing his hands. And that's how that shit spread it around America. The movie I saw, it was a little monkey that had it. Outbreak. 
That's what it's called. Okay. No, oh, I'll break. Oh, break. that shit came out in the nineties. I want to say. But they was yeah. basically telling us. I'm telling you. I feel like I feel like that they push these narratives to like let you know we about to do this for sure. Like, think about some of the movies that's out now that the stuff that actually came true. Like, yeah, a lot of that shit. Like even like some like The Simpsons. How much shit oh, that came true from The Simpsons? That's like, man. Like Trump being president, like. Ebola, uh, the, what was the one shit? Anthrax. So in one, in one, in one Simpson episode, didn't um he perish? Mm -hmm. Trump. Yeah. In, in the Simpsons episode, I ain't don't don't come at <laughs> me for shit. This yeah. happened on the Simpsons. <laughs> I'm just saying. And the Simpsons be fucking predicting real shit. So oh, yeah, dig at the Twin Towers. They predict all that shit. Like it'd be some real shit that come from the fucking Simpsons, bro. Hey, but look, how is Barack Obama still addressing the nation though? Because he only Barack <laughs> Obama. My, that's my president. Hell yeah, yeah, fuck Trump, man. That nigga. Don't he is know. still addressing the nation. Especially the dumb shit he said when he said inject yourself with some fucking bleach. Oh no, that that was smart. He er said that. Mm -hmm. If everybody no. who uh, who follow him should have did that shit, man, for sure. That would have that would have made the world a better place. Man, hell yeah. Let so y'all like he's invoking this racism intent? Like you think that it's Trump? It's all Trump? Hell yeah, because guess what? We had basically we was involved with the whole movement of Barack Obama or whatever him getting to office. That was like a, a black thing, a movement. That was like something that we wanted. Mm -hmm. And then you got Trump in the office. That's for those those white niggas. Those old fucking poor ass white but people. But see, look, look, I'm on some G shit. shit. So that's they motherfuckers. It's, it's, it's a motherfucking good thing and a bad thing for everything. The good thing about, you know what I'm saying, him being the way he is, is people feel like that too and they show that shit. So you know, like, mm -hmm. oh, I know I can't fuck with your bitch ass. Hell yeah, for ass sure. Nigga. Hell yeah. So that's, that's like one of the good things. Yeah. But other than that. I don't yeah. know. I'm going to say this. I don't know. I don't know that it's, it's all him. I can't blame him for it because. Mm -hmm. People going people gotta have a mind of their own. True. You know what I'm saying? I really think it's just crazy stuff going on in the world right now. Like I just think it's really just like it's demons has been unleashed Hell yeah. into the world. Like I'm not playing, like and I think that that's why things is going crazy out here. Like, just look at the world now. Think about fifteen years ago. This is like what? Yeah, for real. That I mean, just think about ago. how they how they pushing all of this stuff on us. But like could it, it could it have been crazy. like all the shit that's going on now was going on back then, but we was kids and then again. It wasn't social media. Social media just put the microscope on every fucking hell thing. Yeah, yeah the yeah. internet. For real, for real. Put, yeah. Man, that hell shit yeah. showed And camera phones. Like, oh, hell yeah. But think about this. Okay, think about this. Now, I'm not nobody's judge, but I don't really want to look on the TV, on regular TV, and see, you know what I'm saying, no sexual stuff between you no know, man and a woman. So think about how much they push into like, the two men and the two women. Oh, like, yeah, sure. like it's, it's like in every single show. It's in every single movie. Books, it's in, it's in cartoons. cartoons. Yeah. That's, that's the it's fucked like, up part. It's like, okay, like, let people live their life, but why you got to just be like slamming it? Why do like, we? I don't, it's I don't, like, I don't like, it's like if I'm watching lie. a movie, like me and my daughter watching a movie, like a kissing scene. Like, yeah. I had to put that shit in there. <laughs> yeah, like why? Like why you gotta hey, do that? I ain't gonna lie, we was watching that new Scooby Doo movie. Yeah. Uh -huh. That shit came on playing straight. California Love. And I was like, <laughs> hell, like oh shit! I was gonna watch that shit with my son. Dog. Man, that's that's a good ass. It was, I'm gonna watch that. I don't think it was no sex or no. Yeah, I think it's called what? It's called School or something. Some Ain't, shit like that. Yeah. Shit, that shit good. Dog. Hell yeah! I might watch that today. And I put my little mama up on blank check. That's one of our new favorites. Yeah, I, uh, oh. I let my daughter watch that and too. Depressing. I ain't never seen that yep. shit. Okay. Blank you ain't never seen. Oh. That was a movie back nigga. in the day. Your childhood. Oh, <laughs> bro. I got her watching Richie Rich. Mm. We got to go back and watch. You watch the old one or the, the old one? Netflix? The old, the old one. one. But, she, okay. yeah, but she be watching that it. new one too, like with the series. Yeah. Okay. But shit, before, because I got some shit about this whole racism shit for real, but stay on Corona. Was y'all like, wearing a mask? Hell no, like, I, I, I wear that shit like if I. If I, I wear it to make other people feel better. I wear it like if I go into the store because you got to, but that shit uncomfortable, man. Yeah, hell yeah, I hell put yeah. it on down at my chin, and if they say it's pull it up. I do. I Basically, like like you know what I'm saying, no. sometimes I wear my glasses, sometimes I don't. So if I got the mask on, oh, shit yeah, bogging yeah. up. <laughs> I'll be yeah. at work with my safety glasses on. I just went back to work this past week, but it's just like damn. Yeah. Then you be hot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like, just don't man. feel like sitting up there with nothing on my face like that. Like, like one, one more. My, one point, me and my family was going to the store, and we like felt like some outcasts because we didn't have it. Uh -huh. So I'm like, man, let's go get a fucking mask. Yeah. We look, I guess they we, got us scared of each other. Yeah, yeah. So you it's never crazy. like nigga mask. Oh, I remember one time I ain't had a mask. This is a couple months ago. I'm, I'm at Walmart. Oh, and I hate that little bullshit they got on the aisles. You can't go down this way, this way. No. Yeah, that's that fuck shit. But anyway, <laughs> I'm at Walmart and shit, going down the aisle. It was a white nigga. This nigga coughed. I hit a U-turn <laughs> up. I ain't going down. 
I'm about to go over two hours. I come, this shit about to be in the air. Why do black people call everybody nigga them Indian niggas? Yeah, why that white niggas? Hell yeah. <laughs> Those stupid niggas. Like fat nigga. Hey, right. Small nigga. I'm a nigga. Right. Right. He a nigga. She a nigga. We some niggas. Ugly nigga. Like, you them niggas. got all type of niggas, dog. <laughs> Everybody some niggas. Boy, but I, 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 don't, I don't say I don't like I don't say nigga around white people, dog. Because I don't want white people thinking they gonna say that shit to me. <laughs> right. Even if, like their intent is not like racist. It don't matter. They shouldn't say that. They say that word at all. They like like speaking of white people, well. My dog Joe Kane. Y'all know Joe. Yeah, Joe, yeah, yeah. white boy. I ain't never heard Joe say nigga. Yeah. He might have said it before. He ain't never said it around me. So yeah. shit, shout out to my dog. Because I be Kane. thinking that motherfucking white people just, they be like, they want to say it so fucking bad for what reason? I don't know. Like, if you notice, whenever white person get mad, that's the first thing they do is call you, let me see. A fucking nigga. A nigga. Yeah. Fuck, no, they say, they say yeah. fucking nigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, yeah. fucking yeah. nigger monkey. Yeah. And it's like, oh, they, shit. And like when they do say it, like, they want to just like, they just want to say it so fucking bad, they can't wait to say it. Like, I know every white person just say a shit in the house, like, dumbass niggas protesting. I, I, I guarantee that shit. They probably do, but I feel like, man, just keep that shit to yourself. We cool. Yeah, don't say that shit to me. Wait, I got to tell y'all something, too. Don't let me forget. I'm about to put this in my notes, so I don't forget to tell you what happened to me yesterday. It was so crazy. Okay. You want me to tell you now? Yeah, yeah can you forget? Yeah, yeah, we can talk about Corona. I was about, about, to, I was about to type it in. Y'all not gonna believe this. <laughs> okay, so it was me and my homegirl. You met Selena? Mm hmm. Okay, so me and Selena, we in the car. We riding down eight mile or whatever. And so when you get at a certain point of eight miles, it's like get down to two lanes. Yeah. So it had slowed down a little bit. So we was like kind of riding side by side with this guy. So he was like looking over and smiling or whatever. So I'm like, you know, looking back over, but I'm not really thinking nothing of it because mm-hmm. I'm not finna roll my window down. Yeah, 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 for sure. So anyway, he's still on. So he get to lick his lips. <laughs> yeah, a cool J style. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm laughing now. I'm like, he's silly as hell. So me and Slim, I'm like, Slim, look at him. So he was, he keeps staying on the side of us. Like when I can get a chance to speed up, I'm going up. He keep coming along slide on the long side. Mm-hmm. So now he get on the side of us on this side. I switch lanes. So, Selena, like, he putting some lotion in his hand. I'm like, Selena, shut up. I'm thinking she oh, talking shit. Oh, I know shit. the story going. I'm thinking she talking <laughs> shit. This nigga doing a drive. This I beat man beat. started, Jack, listen, I, I was, his no, car, he, he his car was about this far from me right here. He riding right on the side of me. I'm looking at him. He leaning back in his seat. This man was jacking off in his car. Duh. And looking at y'all. Driving down no, 8 Mile Road. Driving? Yes. No, this no, nigga that's on a pro? Wait, 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 wait. That was some. That I cannot. I said. I told. I told my girl. I said you brought that creepy ass energy in my car, and that's why that nigga is on this bullshit. Like. She said creepy ass energy. So nigga beat his meat and motherfucker. I said if he got lotion in his car, that must be something he do. Like Hell he must yeah. do that. That's like crazy. Like you riding around. Like this what you do. You find somebody that you like or whatever on the road, and you just start. What the fuck? Taking care of yourself no, I was, I was in your car. Shit. I didn't watch porn while I was driving, but it's never dawned For real? Me. Hell yeah, because like... <laughs> Jeez, look, look. what? <laughs> Hold on. So you be jacking explain. off in the car? No, let me... Hell no. no. Like was I said. You? Like I said. And he was a regular guy. Like, this guy was a regular dude. Like, he was he was nice looking and everything. Like, was he black? No, because it's like... Was, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Black. Like, the only reason I did it because it's like... He was a creep. You be watching that shit... And you be trying to find a video to watch when you get to the crib so you can handle your business. But oh, oh, you was preparing. Preparing. <laughs> nice. Hell no, I ain't, I ain't, it ain't never done on me. I'm about to beat my dick in my He's car. talking about preparing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's like, oh yeah. Because you know, like, when you get ready to watch a flick, you want to have it ready. You don't want to be in the mood and you got to scope the video. Ah, oh, that's a whack one. Ah, it started off with it. You want to already Y'all have it. Hey. Y'all, y'all must be, that must be true. It is. You be on page 85, like, nigga. <laughs> No, that's and then you be like, man, I don't even feel like it no more. That's why you gotta, you gotta oh. every now and then you just gotta go on the site, see what they got. Oh, bookmark. I'm gonna come back to you. <laughs> Boom. Wow, Thanks. I just don't even understand. So, so when um, so you know, like, <laughs> hey, my bad if I gave the secret, no, up, fellas. So hey. uh, my um, at the time my girl was pregnant and stuff. So like, I want to say like the last month, she didn't want to uh, really fuck around, or whatever. I don't know, like, she didn't want to fuck around the last month, and um. She was coming home from work. So I'm like, all right, babe, I got 15 minutes to go ahead and let one off real quick before she gets right, to the crib. Right, because black men don't cheat. Yeah, so uh, this nigga's stupid, dog. Uh. No, so, that's um, true. I'm on, I'm on Pornhub, nigga. Like you said, you searching for the right one. You go, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You going through a video hall. Oh, that shit whack. By the time I got the one I wanted, shit, here come the keys. Like, fuck. Yeah. So I had to just go ahead and take a real shit for real. <laughs> hey, Pornhub, <laughs> cool, but, uh, you, you should fuck with She Freaky. She freaky, oh shit! What? I think uh, I think uh, Q put me on X, what X tube or some shit? X N X X, red tube, red tube, what's the red tube? Uh, red, red tube be fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, I think I asked y'all this shit. I can, kid, you can ask me. Dang, change what? my bad. I ain't call you. <laughs> it's cool. <I'm> drunk. <laughs> What's the uh, crazy shit y'all y'all search? Like, if I look, if we looked at each other search uh, shit, I delete my shit all the time because I don't be knowing like my son gonna go through my phone and right. type in P and then motherfucker. Let <laughs> so me see. Like, like if I go to my girls in one cup. That, that's what, you search that shit. I went to go see what it was. Man, that shit was nasty. That shit was the nasty. I ain't gonna lie. Whenever I feel like I'm watching too much porn, I just watch that video and it just detox. I'm like, I ain't gonna see nothing sexual for a long ass time. I think the crazy thing I looked at was handicap porn. And uh, handicap porn. I ain't never. I ain't never looked. So it was like it was just one chick dog. He got the chick. He was regular, but the chick was handicapped. So she uh, was in a wheelchair. Well, she like how handicapped is handicapped? Like handicapped was she was probably like a midget and handicapped damn near. Like like she she was in a wheelchair. She like baby legs yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know, uh, don't, don't be a miss in South Central. Like, my man, crazy legs. Yeah, it was like that. So, we, she laid in bed so she couldn't move. So, she was sitting there. Was she cute? She, had a fat no, ass hell no. She had a big belly and shit. Um, she was real handicapped. And nigga, he was just hitting that shit. I'm like, damn, but she wasn't moving. Like, nigga, that's when he got to lift her legs up, but her legs dead. So, it's like her legs like this and shit. He just <laughs> he almost put this water out, dog. Yeah. So, it's like, damn, I wonder how a handicapped pussy feel. Like, is the pussy handicapped? Like, hey. The handicap pussy might be hidden because ain't nobody else that Y'all, it's crazy. So that's like what I'm saying. Like, with my last nigga. Uh, handicap uh, pussy. Yeah, my, so you had sex with a handicap woman? No. Nope. I couldn't even fuck a midget. Oh, no, midget, I would. No, hell no. Because the midget is too close to a little kid. That's nasty. Midgets be having some big ass booties, though. So you uh, fuck They midget. got big ass yeah. hands and big you ass heads. just want to have sex with a handicap person. I want to do a handicap. If, if she... Let me see. If she ain't got no legs, I'll do I, I want to see Hold what on, but, No legs. But look, see, you got to say, if she handicapped no legs, or if okay. she handicapped, handicapped. Like, if like, she, if like she handicapped. Like, like, like if one she leg warmer than the other. She and her leg fucked something. up and she in a wheelchair, technically that's handicapped. But yeah. she a regular person, so yeah. that's hittable. But <laughs> she, and that, like, so you a fucking handicap. So if she like if she like monkey man, meaning the motherfucker who ain't got no waist, he just walk around on his knuckles. Like, you a fucking girl who ain't got no waist? Would you? No, I couldn't do it. Uh, I, I, no, I'd, I'd be weirded out. No, because we were talking about me and my nigga uh, Easy Fresh was talking about uh, fucking Shami twins and the other one didn't Shami's? Like oh, hell no. Nah. The, the two people that's one? Yeah. And the, no, you just say no. Yeah, but the one bitch is like, just like, I don't but fuck. That you a, wait, you a fuck the Shami twins? No, 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 no. Oh, shit. Hey, hey. Is, that, is that a threesome? <laughs> What is that a threesome? Not technically it is. But I'm saying like, what if the that's, other one? That's definitely a threesome. They connected at the head. They connect the that arms, arms, arms. arms, but say like it's Keisha. Are they cute with like it's Keisha I, and Felicia? <coughs> Felicia me. don't feel like hitting, but but Keisha do. But they sharing the same pussy. So then what? <laughs> no, they got separate bodies. They got separate bodies. But what if they sharing the same pussy though? Then what? He gonna find out, I guess. That so that's like alien then. Like, like, <laughs> saying these twins, they, 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 <laughs> that's weird. They got yeah. they got separate bodies, but they just stuck together. No, that's just crazy. So they, joint twins. Um. It's just be funny. Though. I always wanted to see like how Shami twins are having boyfriends and shit. Or, like, what if you Shami twins, but then your twin, your twin gay, but you not? So nigga, you you Robert, he Bill, nigga, and Bob beating Bill brace off, and you'll be like, damn, this nigga so gay. I ain't gonna lie. I they probably get used to <laughs> they probably get used to that shit because they get they probably used to just being hey, together Shami, and know that Shami they got to deal with that from the other person. Yeah, I, they probably know. It's just funny though, cause like porn, like I told y'all, I, That's I know crazy. I told y'all the time that um this one dude wanted me to uh put this movie site in his phone, and when I went on his uh safari, <laughs> fat gay porn came up. And I'm like, damn. This you watched gay. it? No, hell no, hell no. But no, but I was just disappointed that this nigga talk about all these girls and got fat gay porn in his phone. It'd be a lot of download niggas in the world, man. You just never know. Yeah, I concur. Yeah, I still can't believe. No, my Detroit turned into the uh, New Atlanta. Don't I, say I see, that. Please see, don't I say see, that. I mean, I ain't got nothing against them. I just see a mirror like, damn. Let me man. tell y'all, I actually <laughs> went to a gay club before. I went a couple times, actually. I went with my see, cousin. See, girls can do that. Yeah. yeah. I went with my cousin. Unless you dance Robin. Can't no dude do that. When I was Dennis in Robin, probably the only nigga in the world who can go there <laughs> and, and you ain't gonna, gonna say shit to the nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't he gay? Don't he go both ways? He said he not. He said he don't. Yes, he, said, he, he did a lot of weird shit, but... Yeah. He said he fuck with motherfucking trainees, everybody, like, as far as, like, being cool with them. But he no, he them. said he used to hang out with them. Yeah. And he'd bring them around to the uh, players yeah. and let the niggas try to get on thinking they taking this girl, but they're really taking a tranny. Duh. And he And John Sally said, he, John Sally said he's, like, the only nigga that picked up on him. Like, I ain't, I ain't fucking with none of your girls, dog. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, true story. Niggas, niggas be on some whole shit. Like, if you a nigga that always get your girl took by niggas, you're like, all right, watch this. Hey, um... He, she, come roll with me to this, to <laughs> no, this shit. Oh, I'm going to take cuz. I'm going to take cuz, girl. 
Hey, I fucked your girl. Oh, for real? I want my girl. That was nobody girl. That's my homeboy. What you about? You about to say something? I forgot what I wanted to say. Yeah, I was about to say something. That's funny, dog. But yeah, the whole porn thing is just funny because, like, you were. Oh, you the were, gay club. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, so I went with my cousin. But let me tell y'all, when I got it in was there. It was a gay girl club or gay nigga club? It was a gay club for gays. It was women and men. Oh. So I went there with my cousin who was a male, and that's gay. We well, probably seen somebody you know. No, I didn't see nobody I knew, but I'm going to tell y'all, if I seen these men in the regular bar, like, I would talk to them. Like, if they came to me and approached me, mm. I wouldn't think nothing. These was men in there. I'm telling y'all, these Mercedes Benzes p parked outside, Porsches. These people in here, you would not think that they was gay. I'm telling you. You never know. That made me look at shit different. Like, you just don't never know. You never know. You just don't never know. For real. I was like... I was telling um my girl I was watching um fucking uh Instagram I seen Magic Johnson's son on that bitch super gay EJ like dog now that's how we talk about gay people I had somebody comment I was happy about that comment it was a bad comment too I'm like I got my first bad comment. I, I remember you uh, yeah. tell me about yeah, that I was like hell yeah that's what's up you get the gay people gonna say something bad about you nigga shit but no I don't got nothing against the gays I don't, like, I don't care like do you like if just I just don't I, smack me in the I face can, with it all day I can have a gay family member I don't give a damn that's what you like like I never uh, stop somebody I never uh, stop somebody liking what they like that's what they like. If I'm just ain't your judge. Who you? I'm not your the only judge. person that I'd be concerned about, like, or be hurt about if they was gay, was uh, be my kid. Anybody mm -hmm. else? I don't give a damn. Brother, sister. I mean, uh, your mom and dad shouldn't, but <laughs> <laughs> brother, sister, weird. cousin, uncle. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, as long as my kids come out straight, I'm good. Yeah. If my kids say, I mean, uh, of course you had to get adjusted to it because that's your fucking kid. Yeah. You like, can't disown I, your I kid. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit either. But like, as a man, like, if, if yo, if your son, it, it hurt because it's your son, like. And he got I, your I, name. I ain't gonna lie, double standards. Like, like if if your daughter said, would you be would you be mad? I'd be mad too. I'd be I mad. Mean, I don't know if I'd be mad because I'd be like, yes, I ain't got to worry about her fucking with no bullshit ass <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I no, don't, but don't you want her to give you some grandkids? Yeah, I want her some kids uh, and stuff like that. I don't sure. want my daughter to fucking do nothing in life. <laughs> Negative. I mean, she gonna eventually age, get married. You got seven year old. How old your daughter? She'd be eight this year. Oh yeah, so about the same age and stuff. She um you know eventually gonna grow up meet her somebody. Yeah, she, yeah. she eventually is. When when do, so 40. when as a as a mom I know no. it's different from a from dad. But when would you? Uh, I know it's, she's seven. She's young as fuck. When yeah. would you approve of her even talking to another boy? Probably forty. <laughs> <laughs> and what would I approve of her talking to a, a boy? Yeah. What you define talking? Like talking on the phone. Like he got he got your daughter number. A little boy gave gave uh, my 12. daughter his number. Uh, no. Twelve. She ain't, she she's know. in the first grade. Cause what's time. that? Fifth grade. Twelve. No, sixth grade. Right seventh right grade. grade. Right. Sixth grade. Sixth seventh grade. See, I gotta think about there. myself. See, I had a little boyfriend in third grade. Mm -hmm. So, but it wasn't nothing serious, you know. But yeah. that was what I. That's See, what you I'm, do. I'm different. Like I want my daughter to. Be, I want my kids. Period. To be better. To be like. Okay. Yeah. I, I was doing certain shit. Yeah. Like how you say. Uh -huh. I elementary, elementary school. I had yeah. girls calling my calling my house and talking to girls. Huh. I don't even want to say this on. I think I said this on camera, what? but I fingered my first girl when I was in kindergarten. I don't want my crazy. daughter to endure no shit like that. I don't want my sons to do shit like that. We're not like, talking about finger. We just talking. But about, I'm just saying, like that's interacting yeah. with with the with the opposite sex and shit. Like I jumped off the porch early. But see, here's the thing. I, I, I don't want her to do late. that. But I feel like I'm <laughs> I'm instilling enough good into my daughter where she know the difference between right and wrong. At the right, end of right, the day, right. she's an individual. She gonna make her own choices. What I'm not gonna do is like try to scare her away because I want her to come to me. No, see, that's sure. the thing. You don't, you don't want to have the preacher's daughter. Yeah. Cause no, because be I know worse. him. I know him. I don't be on my. I don't be on. They like, be the worst. I just be trying to just be on be on regular shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't fucking exposing you to nothing. But at the same time. I ain't motherfucking got you in no motherfucking jail cell either. Yeah. But see, as a, I don't have a daughter. I got two boys or whatever. But like, if I had a daughter, like, I keep it real with her. This I got to keep it real with my sons. Mm -hmm. And then, like, I guess you I... got to get your daughter the game. Yeah. yeah. I guess I'll be that type of nigga, you like... got to. Like, I do shit for her so she can expect that from another dude. Like, opening yeah. the door for her and shit like that. Like, just doing shit that you want her future dude to... to, to for her to look in, into so it. You do, as a yeah. father, set a standard... For so your daughter, because you she, are, she, you are, she, you are first love for real, yeah. like your dad, her dad. And but I've seen women that get a dad that does everything for them, and then and deal with a, a deal with a guy that ain't got nothing to offer him, yeah. like at all. I've seen it go the opposite. And I mean, but case kid, by case basis. Yeah. yeah, with kids, period. Though you just man, you just hope that you did as much as you can so they can come out and be straight. And but like, at the end of the day. You could do all the right. You could do all the good. They still gonna. They walk got their, their own. They their own individual. Yeah, they not you. Like you could have it laid out for them. Like all you gotta do is wake up and go to sleep. 
Mm -hmm. I got everything situated, but they go that way. Then you got motherfuckers who grew up fucked up and yeah. turned out to be the best. Hell yeah. But look, this is what's crazy. My daughter is in the second grade. She's going to third grade now, and she's actually a grade ahead. Mm -hmm. She's supposed to be going to second. Okay. So you figure she got these kids that's like one year older than her in this class, and they all boyfriends and girlfriends. <laughs> they learn a lot of shit. In and school. she like, yeah, because I don't remember the kids' names, but like, just just say Tommy and somebody else. They boyfriend and girlfriend. They've been together for a year. <laughs> been together. <laughs> She's seven. That's what she telling me. Man, it's I was like, okay, what they be doing? I was like, they be kissing. She was like, Whoa. well, yeah, they kiss. They yeah. kiss on the they kiss on the swings like it's just like a little peck or whatever, but it's just like yeah. this is second grade. Yeah, you know what I mean. And That's like, funny. I remember the first time I kissed a girl was like uh, down the street. On uh, I stay on college or whatever. I went to Wilkins. I was like five, six, and this girl downstairs. We stay in two family flat. Mm -hmm. My dad used to rob this the people downstairs a lot too, dog. If you don't know my dad, my dad was a robber. He used to go downstairs and rob the neighbors. Whenever they leave, he robbed their ass blind. <laughs> Like, oh my god! My dad will rob your ass, boy. If you, if you see, if you got anything. Valuable, and then he be acting like he didn't know what happened. Like, damn, for real, I'm a, nigga. I'm a lookout, like for you. Like, I'm oh, a, that's the worst. If niggas steal your shit and help you look for it, <laughs> that nigga will rob bro. you, bro. Cause like, he's robbed downstairs neighbors all the time. Yeah, that's so crazy. So, nigga, uh, <laughs> the girl that was Dominique, dog. Never forget Dominique and shit, dog. I got my first kiss from her, but the day I kissed her, she had like a whole bunch of like uh, crackers, like some wrist crackers. So she had a whole bunch of shit on her mouth. So I wiped her motherfucking mouth off real good before I kissed her ass, like. <laughs> my nigga's romantic at an early age. That's 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> How old was I when I? I remember my mama, dog. I don't remember. My mom had um. Uh, my mom called me kissing down me. I got so fucking scared. I ran upstairs and went my room. Nigga, I turned red. I'm like, damn, she ain't called me kissing down my but yeah, my dad used to rob Dominique, mom and dad all the time. Bro. Dog, do Dominique watch this show? I don't. I ain't hey, seen Dominique since. The worst. <laughs> Like, I knew it. We stayed on, uh, <laughs> do I want to say the street name? Well, fuck it. It wasn't bad for us. <laughs> motherfuckers who know me know the only other street I grew up on. Anyway, our next door. Ne ne ah. <laughs> Yeah, just keep that on the low. <laughs> any, any man, fuck it. I got to tell the story now. Niggas going to want to know. Anyway, yeah, I remember oh, I got caught in the closet and humping our next door neighbor and shit. So my dumb ass tried to go home and go to sleep. <laughs> got my ass whooped. Then had to go to sleep, dog. Dog. No. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I did one. Only thing I did bad was we kicked out the next door neighbor's basement windows, me and my cousin. Man. So we was just like outside. And I don't know why I thought it was a good idea. I was like, let's just kick out their windows. So we kicked all their basement <laughs> windows out. Um, just on one side of the house. So like four <laughs> windows, whatever. Um, and so my daddy came home from work. He was like, what happened to the windows? Man. And my mom was like, Kia, Emmanuel kicked the windows out. My daddy whooped our ass. Man. When you little, you do some shit, don't you? Like, why, why did I do, do, that? do that? Just kicked out their windows. I remember one time I set my motherfucking mom face on fire and shit for no reason. Like, I, I kept on lighting matches and shit over here, down the street. Hey, for people don't know me, I stayed about, probably about, my whole life, probably about 35 different addresses. <laughs> like for real, straight up. Like my for dad, real? we are moving middle of the night when we about to get our shit put out the next day. Like we out. Okay. But my mom had this vase, so I'm trying to learn how to fucking, you know, you got matches and you know you got the part that you you strike the match on. Okay. Me being like six, I'm not knowing that that's the part you strike the match on. I'm on the opposite side, mm. but that bitch caught on. And I got scared, and I'm like, dude, where put this bitch at? Put that bitch in a vase. Mm. I'm not knowing my mom got Panic. paper and shit in the vase, so a vase is going flames, nigga. So my mom take the bitch, put it in what's name water, get it down. I got my ass. Yeah. Oh yes, you did. Yes, I know, you did. back when kindergarten wasn't four days, you had half a day in uh -huh. kindergarten. So I'm at home, not not having shit to do, lighting motherfucking matches. Hey, <laughs> and that, that's another thing. Like when I was a kid, man, I was man, me and my cousin man, shout out Nero. Yeah, man, bro. this nigga always did fucked up shit as kids. <laughs> but we always got our ass whooped. Still and that shit saved us as grown men. Because it's like, you know, like, even though we knew he was going to get our ass whooped, we still did yeah, shit. Yeah, but like, we grow up, you know, like, yeah, I don't want to go through all that type of shit. And that's right. what's wrong like this generation. Mm. These little niggas ain't getting their ass whooped or they didn't get their ass whooped. Yeah, so man. they don't really know what consequences is. So they just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Man. I'm all for whooping kids yeah. when necessary. Yeah. Not beating your kids, but whooping your kids. And everything don't deserve no whooping. No. But some shit deserve a motherfucking whooping. Hey, I had to whoop my son in a while. Like, how old your uh, son's getting cheese? I know they both 16, teams, right? 14, God baby damn. girl 7. Hell yeah, my son, what? He about to be 14, so he, I, I be having a conversation. Like, when, you, when did you have that? Have you ever had a conversation with your son about yanking? Yeah, I, I think I, I thought about that on yeah. it. He did, he did tell us about right, that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I be asking my son, cuz you ain't in the bathroom yanking, are you like, like, no. Oh, they like, never caught him? 
I ain't caught him yet though. Oh, I ain't caught him yet. One time I think he was do- he was doing a little yanking in the in the bed because I came around and nigga hurry up and put the covers over him. Like, well, it's, it's different when you when you catch the action firsthand. Got, that's why I told you I got caught yanking for my mom boyfriend and shit earlier. I, I ain't never. I, me, I'm smooth criminal Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm touching the kids. I gotta, figure, the I gotta kids. figure out. I gotta figure out. I gotta figure out how to catch somebody doing that. Like when do when do you when do y'all be oh, doing no, that? There's no there's no class know. you can take. To, <laughs> to catch like, 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 catch Jack Offer. Because Earl was in the room. Man. I forgot. In the bathroom. Like, we had an old bathroom and had the latch. I forgot to put the latch on because I was I was trying to hurry to get to this yank. Cause I had vision in my head and I wanted to keep that vision in my head, so I had to get to it quick. And you nice. know, the old bathtub, did they have a shower? So it had like that part you kind of like sit your ass on a little bit. Okay. So I'm sitting yeah, my ass. Big ass old school yeah. tub. So I'm sitting there and the toilet's across. So I'm I'm, getting, I'm yanking. Got a little baby oil on that shit. And nice. Then, um, I'm yanking. In the middle of yanking, Earl walk in. So I try to hurry back like I was being with a hard ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't hurry to close the door. And I'm like, damn, this nigga caught me. I'm that bitch crazy. like. That's crazy. I, it took me forever to oh, go to that bathroom. I'm like, dog, I need to call you, dog. What is wrong with you? You is crazy. Hey, I'm, I'm like, like, you trying to bend it down, you be. Look, they, 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 they was talking about, look. Like, girl, I'm being close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look on the Breakfast Club. They, they, they was talking day. about like it was it was a Freaky Friday oh, conversation, shit. and they was talking about Damn. motherfuckers calling in, and, and and of course they was talking about how they get off. This nigga, uh, niggas was talking about they they jack off laying on their back in their bed. Charlamagne, somebody he doing on his knees. Mm-hmm. I'm on like, his knees. I'm like, yeah, like I don't. I'm like, dog. The only way you are supposed to jack off, so it's only two me. places you are supposed to do that shit. Where? Over the toilet, so you can just shoot your yep, yep, right that, there. That's my spot. Or if you're in the shower, then you just press the shit down. <laughs> the my, spot is, my spot is the. Is like, the I, toilet know, toilet. I never understood, like, when you watch TV in shows. In the bed, like, why are we doing the bed? When they right? had, like, the sock no, right by the be bed doing or that tissue. Shit in the bed. No, I ain't jacking off laying down. I gotta stand up. Yeah, because now you feel kind of weak just laying down, like, oh, that shit weak. No. Easy clean up. Good. You yeah. shoot right in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> And turn it on the rim, wipe the shit off. You wipe the shit off in the hey, inside. But then you got those sounds, the toilet. those sounds you get the yanking crazy. And that motherfucker might just like go all over the place. Then you got to be kind of scared. Like, damn, I got to make sure I hit the flow. No, that's like that's like if you use uh, baby oil. <laughs> hey, the, res- the baby oil resin will be all on the rim and What's shit. What's the crazy yank? Tell us about how do, how do, you, how do we get it's crazy. Just like, it's just that yank when you like, you, it ain't crazy. But it's like, dog, you couldn't like turn around or, or like react quick enough to put that bitch in, in the toilet. So then that bitch then got like nigga on the floor. So now you gotta go ahead and put the light on your phone, make sure you find every spot. Cause you don't want your girl to know you just got fit yanking. She's stepping that shit. So I'm like, <laughs> man, you gotta do it. Cause God forbid she's stepping off. some nuts. I do. I do. I do. <laughs> Yo, some night bitch. That shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you out of control. Yo, you out of control. You intense hey, with it. So cheese, I, I made sure I remember this shit because he said he was humping. Oh shit. Oh, but humping the girl, shit, dry humping. And I'm that's the first time I bust and shit. Like I, I never I, bust off dry humping. Oh, I did, nigga. I was getting um a dance like I was 14 and shit. And this girl danced on me. Oh, you put the American pie. Yeah. So I'm in that bitch like then she bagging it up. And that's it. I know, nigga, I was all my fa- all my motherfucking pants, dog. So I ran to the bathroom, wiped that bitch up, but still, nigga, I had to throw my drawers away because the drawers off. Man, hey, me. speaking of humping. <laughs> Humping and you said you shot your load. Hey man, fuck all y'all that fuck with y'all clothes off, man. You supposed to get naked when you smash. Yeah, I think man. that's stupid too. Why you fucking with clothes on? Yeah. I get some socks on. No, not, not even, not even slide the pennies to the side or put your motherfucking meat through the cock slot. Not and the yeah. No, uh, that is not happening. But. Oh, but- Oh, go ahead. Sometimes ahead. if you can't, you don't got time. Sometimes if that's you a quickie. Time, that's different. Like yeah, yeah. if y'all about to, if we, if we fucking fuck, so like we do naked. You, do you socks can stay on? Do you get naked with a random or just like gotta, gotta be your girl or your dude? If we having sex and we like, and that's what we doing, then I don't. We about to get the fuck naked. We fucking fucking. We yeah. not about to play yeah. with it. I have my I have my white beard on and shit. Like sometimes and the I, wife beat her on. Yeah, yeah, fucked in the car. Yeah, I had some. My mom some fire dog. Do, do you get naked in the car? You hell no. Man, you get naked in the car. <laughs> get naked in the car. I didn't get naked in the car. I ain't gonna lie. Bo- hey, bo- bottoms. That you was coming off the car. top. Well, I, don't, I have to really go back and think. Hell about yeah, you get naked in the car. We naked. Fuck it. <laughs> this nigga. My mama Sunfire, you know, Sunfire is a two-seater. A two, That's a little two ass car. car. My nigga Jay-Z say, turn automobiles to hotels on wheels. Duh. <laughs> and that's the funniest thing, though. Like, when you uh, when you get hit from a chicken, and then the chick be like, don't bust my mouth. He be like, okay. Nigga, ain't about to warn. No, ain't no warning. Oh my god! Sometimes you're so good you can't you can't talk. It just ain't no warning. Oh my god! I'm gonna tell y'all something off camera. All right, you can't talk about that. All right, you gotta write that down. Your <laughs> hey, the funniest thing though, I remember me, my nigga Rez, though. I hope you get through though. Just before we uh, we both had 
Never mind. But um, we went to uh this girl crib. Q picked us up too. We we walking down motherfucking uh, Harper and shit. And it was this big ass pit bull, so we hide away for Q and shit because this blue, this pit bull was loose. Mm. So uh we was always girl crib and we was wondering like, why this is our second time over? Why is the fucking lights off every time? Man, they turned them lights on. I'm like, right, turn the lights right back off. Like they feet was black. Motherfucking the apartment was trash. Like mm. that turned me all the way off. I'm like, dog, we gotta go. Oh. So we just got to walk in this shit. Then I called Q. This nigga was coming from somewhere and shit. I'm like, dog, pick me up, dog, from Harper, dog. I'm on Harper and Van Dyke, whatever that area. And he can't pick us up, but like, it was some trifling. It's some trifling chicks, like for real. I don't want to like put nobody out there, but I ain't been places like nigga roaches all over the place. Like that's nasty. Everything like y'all ever had some shit like that going? I ain't been up no. uh, two girls' houses. This is back when I was in fucking high school. Yeah, it's young days. It's young days. Just catch my uh, my fiance watching. <laughs> been it's up two girls' houses young. and I, oh, uh, young. I identified <laughs> roaches. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I was only over two girls' houses and I seen roaches. No, I did not smash either. When I was a kid, my mama had a friend that house we used to go over. To the, she had roaches, and every time we used to come home, she used to make me stand outside and shake my clothes before we went home. Oh, yeah, sure. oh, matter of fact, speaking about roaches, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, <laughs> rest in peace. I remember when my pops had moved into these motherfucking little uh, raggedy ass apartments. Yeah. Like I think it was on Waterloo. Y'all niggas know Waterloo at? Mm. I never heard that. That shit like, um... Can you, can you pass me a bottle? It's like going towards downtown a little bit. Uh... Yeah, he had, it was roaches over there. Yeah, he had roaches. I'm right from New Texas. Like, I used to like going over there because it's like picking on my Texas? old dude. But. Yeah, because I ain't, that, that that made me check apartment reviews because I just moved to that bitch. Cause I wanted to hurry to get my own spot. Oh, so like you know, what I'm saying I had people chick, had them. I had a chick that uh come move with me and shit. Dumb, the dumbest move I ever made in my life. But uh, yeah, it was roaches in that bitch galore. Whenever we had company, I made sure the lights was on because you know when the lights down come on. off. And you turn it right on, them motherfuckers be niggas going, they protesting, they marching, oh, that I, bitch. Like, and I gotta go back. <laughs> I gotta go back to the story. My daddy ain't had roaches, but the apartment complex had roaches. <laughs> which means he incorporated the roaches. <laughs> okay. like my daddy was a nasty nigga. My, yeah, daddy, yeah. my daddy was man, my daddy was that nigga, man. Like you can't I know my daddy wasn't perfect, but yeah. you, you still can't tell me shit about my daddy. Hell no, my dad wasn't perfect at all. Like I said, he robbing niggas and everything. Like, <laughs> nigga, I almost got my head bricked, like, nigga, down the street, nigga. We stayed in the apartment building. He robbed the next door neighbor and shit. And, like, my he man. Kept, he kept it close. Yeah, he kept it close. I don't know why, dog. My, my, man, my man, uh, my man knocking on the door, like, dog, somebody robbed me. My dad, like, for real? <laughs> Damn! Go get the heat, cuz! <laughs> so I guess he kind of knew that my dad did that shit. So like an hour later, he threw a brick through our window. That bitch was like that close to my head, dog. Mm. For real. I remember somebody broke in my mama house, and I had my I was living with her at the time. This was when I was like maybe 18, 19. Mm -hmm. And they broke in, man. They took my damn Jay-Z tickets to the concert. Damn, I was so fuck? pissed. But I was I was so Wait, what, what year was this? This probably was let me think how old I was. I had to be like 18 or 19, so shit, 2004? Yeah. Something like that? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then Jay-Z was coming, so me, I had two tickets. I remember tickets, when Jay-Z was here. And they stole my fucking tickets. But that was so he nice because the guy, field. I know, he was at a, um, where was he at? We went out far. We was in like, what's that place called? Is it maybe the Silver Oh, Dome? by Pontiac. Pontiac. It's by Pontiac. It might have been. Has Jay-Z ever not been in his prime? So yeah, last time we talked, man, I said we gonna keep it on the same shit. Last time we talked, you know, we were talking about eating ass, remember? Oh, shit. Like, yeah. Ate ass? Yeah. Quarantine had me eat some ass, though. You was eating ass in the quarantine? That's what Hell I'm talking yeah. about. Hell yeah. Wasn't that bad? <laughs> wasn't that bad, was it? I was, yeah, I was scared as fuck, because I'm like, all right. Why? You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, eat. hold on, hold on. Did you, like, just lick the ass? He said he ate some ass. Oh, yeah, I started, uh, yeah, you know, I did my But it's your girl, so that shit to be yeah. Yeah. So it's like, it's like um. And she watching it. Yeah, I'm, I told I told fuck it. So it's like, um, you know, you, you eating a little pussy or whatever like that. So I'm eating like, a little pussy I'm thinking whatever. like, damn, I'm, I'm off for the next three days. You know? <laughs> damn, so yeah, you planned up. it. Yeah, I'm off for the next three days and shit. She just took a shower not too long ago. So I just went up. I'm like, fuck it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Fuck it. Cheese ass cold. Like <laughs> <laughs> right that bad. So I went up. And that's fucked up. That's, that's the first thing I thought about was our, t our our conversation and shit about that shit. <laughs> so I went up and bam, hit it. How was your experience? The reaction, her reaction was like, oh, what? Like, it was like, it was like, you, you <laughs> did. So that door, she was like, that was different. I'm like, yeah, it was. So the whole time I thought about that shit, like, damn, I ate some motherfucking ass, dog. I can't wait until cheese. But you, can't eat, <laughs> but you ain't eat random ass. Like, that's, that's yeah, your You don't eat random ass. I'm going to just go ahead and say that's your yeah, wife. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's funny, like, I'm like, damn, what was it? It wasn't like, 
it was no taste and shit. It was just like it was just like it was just it wasn't it wasn't nothing bad though. Like I was hoping my motherfucking tongue just. <laughs> so have a girl ever did that to you? Oh no, no, I wasn't nobody eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> But you ever, <laughs> you ever got so, I remember one time I got the, the sloppy as head, nigga, like, I thought I shit on myself. That shit was all my ass and shit. Like, damn, this motherfucker spit all no, my ass. No, sloppy head like, the best head. Yeah. Make a mess. I want that zombie head. I think I said that before. <laughs> Make a fucking mess. The motherfucker, what's that motherfucking uh, show called? That zombie show? Walking Dead. Walking Dead head. Like, like, walking Dead head. <laughs> Just don't bite. <laughs> Walking dead head. But how do you tell a girl? How, how, how do you tell a girl like you ever had your shit scathed with? That's all I say. How do you tell a girl like dog? You <laughs> fucked up. Right, Honestly, up. like like if if a girl doing that, that seems like all right. Fuck it, let's uh let's fuck. Cause like if, I, if I'm not like I done had I done had girls, I ain't got time to try you right now. Look, I ain't had time. I I done had girls not tell me, mm-hmm. but just talking about sex. Period. Like, if they in a situation <coughs> where the nigga can't get head, and I'm thinking, like, what type of nigga don't know how to eat pussy? You know yeah. what I'm saying? They just, they just in the shit, like, all right, come on, let's, let's fuck. And the yeah. same, like, yeah, like, that's not, not, thing, not, like, not, I'm not, not finna do told me that shit, like, one girl was like, man, come on, let's, let's just fuck real quick. Because they like, I guess I was eating the head. I mean, eating the head. <laughs> eating the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> fucked up. So he said the next girl kind of showed him and shit. Yeah. And like, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, he talking about that shit? Yeah, he talking yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I'm a pro. Like, but how can you fuck up eating pussy? I mean, granted, what? Look, yeah, granted, it's fine. Every, it can be every done. Girl, I don't even want to say this. I'm, I'm probably sending this to my little cousins and my aunties and shit. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all mute this part and shit. But uh, it's like every girl do like they pussy ate different. But all you gotta do is like how you said, react to how they moving and shit like that. Like, like, okay, <laughs> she don't she don't like the click stimulating. Okay, she don't like fingers in her and shit like that. Like, yeah. she don't like you doing certain shit in that. Oh, she wants you to go slow. Like, I don't know, man. My nigga Randy, rest in peace, dog. He told me uh, I was a little nigga, like 15, like, dog, attack the man on the boat. I'm like, what? The fuck is that, cuz? Like I said, I was like, dog, I, I jumped on the porch a little late. I ain't gonna lie on my dick. Like, yeah, I was fucking at 12. Like, no, nah, it wasn't me. I was scared. Like, nigga, the only thing I was thinking about was basketball and shit. Like, that's it. And fucking having fun. How old was you? First time I smashed? Uh, I, I wanna say like 16 and a half. <laughs> I want to say like a 16 and a half. Yeah, 17, 16 and a half. How about 14, 15? Yeah. Like, I thought about my. Oh, shit. I thought about my whole life. Like, I was thinking about it all the time, but I'm like, man, I ain't about to, I ain't about to get none. Like, I told y'all a story about my my uh, my my cousin, dog. He he like family and shit. Left the uh, Esther Laura's condom in my, in my crib, and I was a little disappointed because she went through my drawer and seen that shit, and she was like, I ain't ready. I'm like, bitch, yeah, I ain't ready. ready. <laughs> what the fuck you talking about? Man, put that bitch, get that lifestyle real quick. <laughs> get that Say, I ain't ready. Get that motherfucking <laughs> clinic condom real quick, nigga. <laughs> I ain't about to put that shit on. I said, swallow my dumb ass. And I'll be looking stupid. And you tell all your girls. Do it, do it. All right, you a female. What? Do you Do y'all talk about this shit? Like, that nigga shit was weak. Or well, it came in two seconds. Like, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But the thing about a female guy, no. Sometimes you're going to have a good day. And sometimes you're going to have a bad day. <laughs> That's what we gotta know. You gotta know. Sometimes I might be so excited, or sometimes it's been a while. You know, shit. You might get a well fucking good crossover. And it's over. <laughs> sometimes you might have a good game. Like, damn, that was a good game. You know, I scored good. I guess we do talk about that though. We definitely talk about it, just like y'all do. I didn't even realize men talk as much as they do. I stopped. Like, y'all, I, 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 only time I talk was like when I first business. got some. Nah, like, not it nah, was hell no. Nah, I, I ain't no chatty patty ass nigga. We like, when you first got some, you didn't talk. Well, about he it. might be one, it might not be one, but it is some men that are. Like, I don't chat about it, but like when I first got some, I had to. Tell I mean, like about. you might you might tell no. certain stories, like if it's if, if something specific happened, but I mean specific. I said Pacific, so yeah. like. A, a nigga. <laughs> if something yeah. specific happened, you might speak on it. But then again, even when you do that, mm. you don't say who it was. Like, man, you know Charlene. <laughs> nigga, oh, nigga, Charlene, motherfucking yeah, no, Thompson. No, I, like, that, I hope there ain't no Charlene Thompson out there because I ain't never even fucked the Charlene. Like, my wife. Two cousins, I don't, I don't Damn, tell I nobody say about Thompson, my bad. My <laughs> but I, I ain't never fucked the Charlene for real, for real. Mama told me not to do that a long time ago. She was like, "You don't, you know what I'm saying? You don't, first of all, you don't keep your man up under your friends, mm-hmm. and nope. you don't tell your you don't tell your friends about you and your man's sex life because then you, they, they gonna, gonna start thinking about how it is, love. and they gonna want to try, so, you know. So basically, you only tell the bad, you don't tell the good. I mean, I, <laughs> now we was talking about my man. I was talking oh, about yeah. other people, like you know, like no. Now, which, which you, by the way, I don't have a man. I'm say you still you still single since you know 2020 could change. I'm a lot fake of single. Fake single for two. Hey, I respect that. What, 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 I know what that means. Explain to the people 
Like, I'm like, no, DJ, if, I'm like, hey, DJ Envy. DJ Envy. If, if, if you know, you know. Okay. Fake single. I, I know that is. You know what that is? Yeah. Okay. That's when you have a long night and shit. You're like, what up, though? We together tonight. No. What is no, that? No, it's a little more than that. If you know, you know. It's like, it's <laughs> like this. It's funny to the people who don't know on my DJ Envy shit. So basically. That nigga do be It's funny to the people who don't know. On the outside is. looking in, it do seem like you in a whole relationship. But at the end of the day, you could tell this person, we not together. Mm -hmm. That's fake single. So do you get fake mad? When he do shit like with other females or be around other females or you, know I haven't shit? had that experience. Do he be fake mad? Like you ain't answering the phone. No, he be big mad. <laughs> big <laughs> hey, mad. Ain't no fake mad. Be big mad. All big right, so mad. I'm only you know saying this gotta be a dude that you know your your your, your daughter father right. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So my thing is why like one thing I can honestly say with my son. Me and his mom, we was together like for you know good years and shit. Met in high school, whatever. Mm -hmm. And afterwards, it was like. Whenever we messed around, when we broke up, mm -hmm. it's like as soon as we got done messing around, we arguing. So here's the thing. This so it's like at the while, like we probably messed around like four or five times. I shouldn't be telling this fucking story, but <laughs> I don't think anyone wanna watch. But <laughs> but uh, it was like it was over because we. I came to the. I want to say she did too because we. She didn't pursue it. Mm -hmm. Like dog, we just we parents, nigga. Y'all like, just don't belong not, together. Yeah, like it's like because I. I found myself argue, we arguing about shit that we was arguing about when we was together. This is the thing. Me and him don't argue. Like, mm. we had an argument yesterday because I basically was just cussing his ass out about some shit. <laughs> but it wasn't no argument for real. I basically just say my little piece. Like, every now and then he get mad and he'll say something, but he don't really argue with me. Yeah. And I really don't be bitching. Like, we really we really get along. The mm -hmm. reasons that we're not together really ain't because we, we argue a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so here's what happened. So I had moved out, but I had to move back in. I didn't have to, but I did move back in for a period of time when some move stuff back happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. I basically went back home for a minute or whatever with the intention of leaving right back out. Yeah. But then the corona happened. Damn. And so my daughter's <laughs> school closed. And so I'm like, now I'm feeling like, okay, I need to be here being manager because... She'll be running around her eating kind of candy, doing whatever she want to do, <laughs> three, yeah. four days out the week, yeah. and then not learning, not doing nothing. Yeah. And then she called me. So then it just kind of like lingered over. Mm. So we like technically in the house together, but um, no, we're not together. We don't. Okay. But see. And people wouldn't even believe that. They would think like that's some bullshit. See, and that's why I think like with um, a, a lot of. Uh, Niggas like, won't give a fuck. Yeah. A girl won't believe that. Like, yeah. yeah. When you try to explain that shit to a girl and be real. Like, yeah, I live with my baby mama and we ain't together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, <laughs> nigga. But, nah, niggas, but it depends on, if, it depend, I think the, I think a guy don't care, but I think it depends on if he like you, because I had, I had talked to this okay, guy, and um, he, he would make a comment or whatever, like, like he didn't really want to get, ask, right he didn't want to get that serious, he like, because I know you finna fuck back with this nigga, whatever, like, and I was like, okay, so he must like me a little bit, you know what I'm saying, but normally, no, why would you care, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah. it's like, like, same yeah. instance, if y'all on the phone, mm -hmm. and then, like, y'all in the same house, and yes. he's, he's talking to uh, y'all love mama, yeah. and then, nigga, who's that nigga? No, I don't be doing none of that, see, I'm not gonna do none of that, I'm not gonna put nothing in his face. Okay. I ain't gonna yeah. do nothing like that. Now, that's just real. That's a lot, like, cause like you know, I got two different uh, baby mamas. Where I'm with the second one, whatever. But the first one, like a lot of people be like, my fiance, homegirl's cousin, be like, damn, like, like Rashad, his uh, his his uh, son, mom, get along, like, yeah, like no beef, no. Nah. Mm -hmm. Cause my mom told me some shit. She put me on game, like. If y'all just gonna be parents and y'all want each other, why why y'all beefing? That's what I'm saying. Like just cause like, you're not with the, the, no point. the mother of your kids or the father of your kids, like yeah. man, y'all ain't gotta be beefing. No, like, that's like, because one person or the other wanna be with the person yeah, and the other one don't. And, and that's said. when the drama get that's when the drama kick in. If y'all yeah, sure. already decided that y'all straight, yeah. then it's good. Cause like it was a period of time where I was in that situation where it was like, Okay, we not together, we <laughs> not in the house. Like when I first first had my baby. Yeah. Um, and it was like immediately a split mm -hmm. and it was like, you guys, he had got to a point where he was like, well, I don't want to see you. So we need to make sure that we can just not have to communicate That'd and we, like, we need to, terrible. uh, you need to drop off Bria to your mom and I get like that. I'm like, that's childish. Yeah, fuck. Hate, I'm not going to use a third party to communicate with you. Like you're going to have to suck that shit up. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, like that's much. dumb. Like I'm not going to yeah, do that. You know what yeah, I mean? Cause like I said, like shit, I hear her up yesterday cause we just cool. Cause like I told you about my nigga Rez, like she, we all went to school. So I'm like, damn, Rez got to Christ. And like, we just talking like sometimes girls like uh, sometimes my fiance might not understand like like that's not my that's not nobody i want to be with but we still like we know we know things about each other and we know each other a little still, bit y'all gonna be yeah like forever. i know yeah. a lot of shit about, they say you only connected to him till eight to the kids that's a lie yeah. but that's you, that's forever, forever, forever. Dog. Forever. my mom my mom and my daddy still cool as fuck to this yeah. day but i got a question for uh for, for kids and shit though i ain't gonna throw no nigga name under the bus 
But off air, it's funny that it, it, it went with the whole shit. I wrote it down so I won't forget it. So with you, uh, how is it being cool? Like, can you, you be cool with a guy, but his girl be intimidated by you? Can I be cool? Huh, huh. Cause it's funny, can cause I be it, cool with a guy, but his girl is intimidated yeah, by me? Yeah, because, you know, you know, I ain't going to you know, say, say no names and say nothing. <laughs> but <laughs> it's a lot of times, like, like, do you find, okay, we like, all, let me oh, let me oh, turn, oh, let me turn oh, on my oh, camera. We both know, quick. like, like. You a pretty girl, shit. You know what I'm saying? I peeped you from the day that you brought you in the curl. Damn, I'm light skinned. No, she tight right there. <laughs> but, like, when you be cool, like, we cool. Like, Whatever. if you cool, you know, you've been around the circle, the family. Like, you, you family shit. Uh, you know, my mama and shit like that. So, like, right. when you cool with motherfuckers and a dude, and his girl see, like, damn, light skin, she looks straight. Like, is it hard being cool with a dude and his girl seeing you? Yes, I'm gonna tell you this. I can, I got, I got a lot of male friends. Like, I'm tell you like this. Even when the women act like they like me, they don't. But mm. I'm like literally just being cool with these guys. Like, it's nothing like that. Yeah. Um, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, what, 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 what these women need to do is yeah, befriend me. me. Yeah. And then we can all be friends, and then they can see everything is fine. Like, yeah, everything cool. I got a, I got a, a friend, you know, that had a girlfriend one mm, time. Talk on it. And um, <laughs> and you know, me and him was real, real cool. We was like, I mean, we was real cool. Like, hung out on the regular. Like, I'm, we've been friends for probably like over ten years. I don't Hell know how yeah. many. You can't family crib and chicken. Yeah, and so um, <laughs> his girlfriend didn't like me, you know, and I didn't know why. Yeah. So me and her exchanged some words one time because he actually let the girl call me. Mm. And so me and her exchanged some words, and I had to, I had to like slightly read her. I gave her a light read. I pissed her off. And, you know, me and him stopped being friends for a period of time. It broke my heart. It really yeah, did. And I, you know what? I yeah. know this guy. I know this guy you're talking about and mm -hmm. shit. It was like, I remember coming into in town when I was staying in Texas. I hit you up like, you know, we're going to be over such and such crib and shit. You're going to come through. And you, you're like, yeah, I'm going to come through for you and your brother. But fuck him, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, that's what it was, because that's how I feel. Because like, yeah. ever since we've been friends, like, I always relationship or whatever, and I always, like, let the guy know yeah. that this is my dog, period. Like, he yeah. even met him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. So, like, it is and what you know, it is. The funny thing about it, though, I think that whole shit started um, with this guy who we don't know his name. Uh -huh. But uh, <laughs> you remember, I, I know exactly when it started, like, when my uh, my mom passed away and whatever, you was over the crib. Yeah. Probably a sad moment. But she yeah. seen your face like, hold on, yeah. hold on. Yep, that's Hold what it was. <laughs> I think we was over um over your brother over, over your oh that's not your brother, it's his brother. His yeah. brother house. Yeah, his brother, yeah, that dude. We was over his yeah. brother house. That dude Timothy. Yeah. <laughs> what about but you? But no, but no, it's 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 cool. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. So how y'all get like how did it get back cool? Like how did y'all get back cool and shit? Like what was it? I don't know. We just it just kinda of blew over. It was like I think he ended up telling me like he, he felt like he shouldn't have he shouldn't have been like that. And I apologize he, for stuff I did too. He felt like a piece of we shit. We ended probably. up just working it out or whatever. <laughs> so I guess, you know, him and the girl still cool. I still don't know how she feel about me, you know, but yeah. you know, that's not my problem. You know what I'm saying? That's her problem. Yeah, for sure. What about you, Cheese? Have you ever been in a relationship but then like your girl like like don't like that you cool with this chick maybe because of her looks or like because like y'all so cool she might know a little bit too much about you mm, had, that's it nah I can't relate to that one. Mm. I think what you should do in the beginning is just let your let your person know that you're dealing with who your friends are yeah cause I got another I got another friend or oh, whatever you, like, that's he, married and when he brought his girl around us from day was, one me and my cool. cousins no she didn't like us from the beginning but she uh, faked it wanted to act like she was cool yeah but she can't stand no, no, none of us alright this is this go for both of y'all can y'all be cool with the opposite sex and that motherfucker may look good but y'all just strictly cool like do you guys yeah. girls that you've been cool honestly, with honestly I used to never believe in platonic relationships but like I got I got two homegirls right now. I ain't gonna say their names, but like yeah. them them like my homie homies, like for yeah, real, right. for real. Don't yeah. get me wrong. No, I ain't gonna say one cold piece because she gonna take it to the head. <laughs> but, but you know what I'm saying? They 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 nice looking females, like, yeah. but them like I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna front. Like, if it was ever a shindig and I had them come through and my homeboy seen them, like, oh nigga, you ain't nigga, nigga, yeah. nigga, 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 what? No, but man. it's like, no, nah, like on some G shit, like them. The, that's the yeah. homie. Like I think you can do that. I, I, I'm telling you, it can be done. And that's honestly can be like some like when you just decide to cross that like line. That when I was a kid, cause I think like, is she attractive? Yeah. I'm trying to get at her. Yeah, yeah. But, but some just people like, be like super cool. Like you like, I don't fuck this. 
fuck this shit up or whatever because yeah. he's super cool. Like, right, right, right. Then, then, then motherfuckers vibe different. Yeah, then it should be weird. Yeah. Yeah. Chemistry. And sometimes you can get too into the friendship that you can't, even if you want to, it's like it's too late and shit. Like, nigga, you ever heard that song with uh, Charlie Baltimore and Cameron and shit? What? Shit, I, got uh, I forgot the name of it, but y'all should go listen to that shit. Yeah. When they would be talking about how, like, they just fuck with each other on some cool shit, but they can't never take it past that point. It's, yeah. a, it's Of course, it's old school. Yeah, hell yeah. That's, that shit got me I'm hard, that, though, When we get down to I'm going to that shit Because you'd be worried, like, what be what would be the aftermath for that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if some, like, if it just... Cause you could, you could. I don't know. I don't, don't know. Don't think like that. You I don't be know. Like, oh, that's just the homie. Fuck. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, like you don't want to, you don't want to just fuck nothing up. All right, I got this one shit, dog. It's gonna be, it's not on topic, but it's kind of on topic. Like the club days, club etiquettes, and just like just embarrassing moments. I was listening to the uh, Joe Button podcast. He was talking about like you know how a chick be dancing. Mm -hmm. You get behind that ass. She turn around, look at you, move out the way. Nigga, that shit got feel. That got hurt, nigga. Like, this shit popping ass like a motherfucker. So well, somebody that. you got rejected in the club trying to dance? Yeah, trying to get, trying to get my nigga back. Right, I'll go, I'll came go up. first. I remember I was with my <laughs> nigga, uh, Point. Shout out my nigga, Point. We was, uh, he needed, used to go to, uh, fucking Oakland University out there in Pontiac. By yeah. the Pontiac Silver Dome. Yeah. They had, they had their little college party or some shit. And there was this one chick. Well, I knew. It was one chick I was trying to talk to. But anyway, them niggas ventured off on their own shit. So I'm doing my own thing. Dog, they was playing Lil John, yeah, and shit. Yeah. Dog, it was a chick in there dancing. <laughs> Nigga, I tried to get up on her. I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she looked at me like, no, and no. walked away. Dog, Bro, that should be hurt. You talking about your motherfucking soul leave your body? I'm For like, real? man, I ain't pulling a whole shit like, fuck you then, bitch. I'm just like, <laughs> dog. In my mind, I'm like, cause you know those songs that come on and when girls watch I, just, I, I, I left the club. I'm like, fuck it's that it. deep. I ain't, I ain't go off on her. Yo, I said I didn't go off on her. Right, but it's that deep for you to leave like you felt bad because she walked yeah. off? Yeah, because like, she was shaking that ass and you was just like, hey, let me get behind her. Because I right hold there. myself like, I feel like I hold myself in front of everybody so I was just like, I'm out. Because you know something. Hey, I'm like, man, fuck this club in my mind. <laughs> man, this, this is, man, fuck this club. I don't even like the flow no way. Duh. Go on. This that, shit uh, for like football turf. Juvenile, bad that thing up. Oh yeah, drop it, give me 50. Oh yeah, I'm gonna throw that cash. You show, you know what I'm saying? That shit, come on. You try to immediately find a bitch to dance with because a chick to dance with because that ass is, you know, that ass clapping. So you get behind ass it, clapping. and she get to looking like, oh nigga, hell no, I get to dance with her girls and she hurt. That's girl. the thing. Don't nobody even be dancing in the club That's like the thing. that. Like, <laughs> like girls don't even like being danced up on. They want to dance by themselves or dance with they, they girls. Girl you like, gotta just sit back and watch on some old. Porn nigga shit. Like, hey, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, get on that ass a little more. <laughs> Creeps. What's the, what's the, what's some wild shit y'all did in the club? Probably grind, fucked on it. Not not fuck fuck, but like just grind on the dance floor. I remember I was so drunk, nigga. I kissed a fat bitch. Like I was that bitch, nigga. Mouth to mouth. You ain't never hit. A, you ain't never hit a fat girl. Uh, pregnant motherfucker. That's only time. But no, like, no, fat, like, not no fat. Like she was. Bro, bro. Okay, bro. <laughs> yeah, it don't. I want that, 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 that ain't fat. She carrying a whole other baby. I want a fat chick, though. No, I, 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 I think we. I, think, I don't want, want a fat chick. Before? No, we didn't. But I want to get into this. Man, like man, <laughs> hey, I, I, I like, like BBW. Yeah. First of all, I like I like all women that's not trainees because trainees think they. I like women that's not trainees. But you got you got to say that shit okay. at these days, this day and age. Uh -huh. But like, dog. Like, 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 you know what I'm saying? Big girls, dog, they be having that sleeping bag warm. <laughs> Getting that motherfucker, they feel like you in a sleeping bag. Like, warm oh, pussy. Like, Silly as hell. Hey, up. and they be smelling like fresh baked sugar cookies. <laughs> fresh baked sugar cookies. <laughs> dog, them sugar cookies be smelling good for us, too. Dog. Wow. What, what's the wild shit you did in the club? Oh, um. If you want to explain. It's, I mean, um. You ain't going on Tupac, did you? What? When Tupac got head on the dance floor? <laughs> no, I no not on the dance floor. I did have, I did have sex in the club. Oh shit! What where, where, what club was this? Man, How here you it? go. <laughs> <laughs> what was that experience? It was one of them times where you didn't take off all your clothes. Yeah, it was sure. in the bathroom. I went on the dance floor, fucking up. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. No. Nah. Damn. Sundress season action. <laughs> oh yeah, easy access, nigga. Right in the motherfucking spot. That is the easiest way to do it in the summertime with a dress on. Oh, hey, speaking of sundress season, that's when you got to do it in the car. This, this like came off the subject, but I be at Walmart. You be looking Walmart, at chicks with, with cold pieces, cold, cold. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Framework. And, and like they got the mask on, so it's like they probably they probably put a mask on, talk to like to their homegirls. So I'm like, damn, this motherfucker look like Katana and Melina. Like with that mask on, they be good. You know who Katana and Melina is from Mortal Kombat. Anyway, no. they these chicks, they got cold bodies. 
But when they pull their mad, well, Melina the fucked up, not Katana. When Melina pull her mad up, she look like Baraka. Baraka is a <laughs> ugly ass creature Duh. looking nigga. You have, that oh, mask be tricking niggas, dog. Don't get tricked by the mask. Nah, that's the title of this though. episode, don't get tricked by the corona that's funny, mask. That's though, that you saying shit, like, when you, and we talking about the clubs, like, have you ever pulled a chick in a club and you thought she was bad until you, you Hell know, yeah, hey, no. send, send the pic. Like, what nope, no, 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 like, Nigga, every chick be looking cold. Bro, when them lights come on, you be like, oh, you look like walking dead. Man, hell yeah, hell yeah. What about you had that experience? What with a guy? Craig was in a club looking cold with lights off. Hey. No. And she, I want to say, hold on, hold on. Nah. And I was watching one episode, and one of the niggas was like, dog, did the nigga named Craig do something to you? Because you go always bring up Craig, nigga, that's your favorite name. <laughs> that's like, that's like you got to see what guys look like without their accessories. Because guys be having on a lot of accessories, just like you got to see women without their makeup. You know makeup. what they do. Because like niggas class, be having on they, they, they hat. And them glasses, they look like a whole different nigga without them glasses and that hat. They be looking. Talking about the yays or the regular glasses. Either, either way, sometimes they All just right. be looking different. You know what I mean? Like a girl, like if she like type of person that like to wear makeup, like like to beat her face or whatever, well, all you, that. You, 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 you got you a nigga. You and they take that makeup off. They be looking different. And y'all get back to his pad and shit or whatever. And the nigga take off a waist trainer. <laughs> Man, hell no! <nah>. Hell <laughs> no! <nah. laughs> Hell, oh, uh, I am. That is it. I'm going. I'm out. I am out. Because why is you training your waist? <laughs> no. Ain't, ain't no way. Like, so I remember, nigga. Like it was the one chick I was messing with, dog. No. I got her at the club and shit. Like we was at the car, my nigga, car and shit. So at the time, I'm driving a, a, a '96 Corsica. Uh, FM AM radio, nigga, nothing oh, else. So, uh, she said, Oak Park. So, we talking and shit. She feeling me, digging me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Liking my swag. You know, because I'm a cool nigga. And, uh, she like, Period. She like, yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's get together one of these weekends. I'm like, bet. You know what I'm saying? So, a particular weekend, my, uh, my son and mom was going to spend night at her sister's house. And shit. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I make the room look manly again and shit. I'm cleaning the room real good, taking the little girl shit out. So, I pick her up. Pick her up in the Corsica. She disappointed from the start, cause she see I got a Corsica, mm -hmm. and she kind of disappointed in the car. So she come in the motherfucking car and shit. My car I don't really drive fast. So I'm on free to make sure I stay in slow lane, cause my shit only go like sixty. Mm -hmm. So I take her to the crib and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know I smash out, and um, I, with the with the with the condom though. The second time, like that morning when I dropped Malcolm off and shit. It's no condom, so I'm like, all right, babe, fuck it. Man, right. cool. I know what to do and shit. So, <laughs> nigga, that, that, that night, nigga, it rained and shit. So, but you had met her that day? I married, no, I married a couple couple months ago at the club and shit. Uh, so, uh, my car, when it rained. Uh -huh. You shot the club up? No, no, hell no, hell okay, no. Okay. So, nigga, my, when it rained, the bottom of my car get wet. Like, inside. Like, you step in the puddles and shit, so I got to get towels and shit get that bitch out. Uh -huh. So, I'm in that bitch, nigga, like, she get in the car like, damn, this nigga's a bum. So nigga, like the whole time she thought it was a bum probably because I pulled up in that Corsica. She I'm, said that. I'm she thinking that because I stayed with my mama and I pulled up in a Corsica and shit. Like she ain't. Fuck she with still me let you have sex with her. Oh yeah, for sure. So, so no, nigga, but when I dropped her off and shit though, like she never called me back. So I'm like, damn, I must have been weak as fuck. So I called her like two weeks later. She hit me up like, yeah, I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh, uh -uh. fuck, I'm hurt. I'm like, damn, I ain't got somebody pregnant on some on mistake shit. But she like, no, I was pregnant. When I was fuck with you. I just didn't know. I'm like, damn, thank God, shit. But like. Girls be like, back then, I don't, it's still the same now. Like, they expect so much from you. Like, just because I pulled up my course, I could have been a good-ass nigga. But mm -hmm. you kind of, like, didn't fuck with me just because I had that car. Like, is that how I like I it? think everybody judge people off of appearances. I think that we all I mean, I was fly, I was smooth. I had a nice little 360s at the time. Shit, just had a course, because that's all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just staying with my mama and shit. They had, you know that's what I'm saying? That's all? That's all. Shit, mom was upstairs, though, so she never seen moms. But how old was you at the time? Shit, about a good 23. Okay, so you was 23. Mm-hmm. Like, what do a, what do a female expect? Like you will be rich or something from the jump? Like a female change their whole perspective about you and shit just because of what you driving or like some shit like that. Like nigga, like I ain't never ran into those uh, type of females on some real shit. Man, I have. I mean, I don't know if I I don't know I don't know what my expectations are. <laughs> the first thing I got to be able to do though is be able to vibe, which I pick up on people energy good. Yeah. So like I'm gonna know off top about me even be able to be bothered with you because I'm gonna tell y'all that has some. Like, like some trash ass niggas that just was on the outside, like, just look good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The resume is beautiful, but like, <laughs> you get to know them, it's just like, I can't even really converse with you. You can't even really talk. Like, you just, you not my, you not my vibe, period. Yeah, yeah, sure. And then you meet, you meet some guys That's or whatever that might not be just, you know, 
maybe as flashy as this other guy, but they just be cool as hell. And they might get their head on straight. And they know where they're going in life, and they just different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can meet some guys that got everything, and they just don't be. They don't really be worth shit. Like mm-hmm. you can meet a, a trash ass bad bitch. Like she can be so <laughs> bad, but the hit could be bold. <laughs> she might not. She might be an airhead ass bitch. Now tell me, yeah. I'm lying. No, no, you. I gotta, so man, it's the same no, way. Yeah. It's the same way with guys. Yeah, because I had chicks like dog. Please don't say shit. Cause you make me look real stupid out here, nigga. Like I had some bitches who didn't know how to talk. See, like, nigga, for real. Like, damn, please don't, please don't put your motherfucker two cent in. Right, just be you quiet. Dumb for real, cause like <laughs> you look nice, but you a dumb motherfucker, cause like mm-hmm. and that shit. Like you, like every time, like when you find that ideal person, it might be like it might not be a person that you was in your mind you thought you was gonna get with, but shit, that's the perfect match for you. Yeah, if that makes sense for motherfuckers. Uh, yeah. I'm buzzing a little bit off this motherfucker crown, but yeah, that shit like. Relationships be funny though. Like, it's just funny as fuck. Like it's hard as hell just to not even look at a uh, motherfucker. That's why I try not to be on social media when I'm drunk. It's hard. Everybody. It gotta be. <laughs> it gotta be harder for men than women just, just though. Just stay out your feelings. Cause though we on social media and drunk and like two in the morning and shit. You be like, what the fuck? That's that's when they say <laughs> me. That's what they say Meek Mill be doing. They say that nigga be off them pills, Man. on some other shit. Just get to tweet and all that type of. He's. I thought he stopped shit. doing that. What, back pills he or tweeting? <laughs> I mean, I don't know the nigga do pills. I'm, I'm just reading what they say according to uh, DJ Khaled. They. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he's doing any personal time. I ain't around these niggas, man. Man, we all over the place, but with this corona shit, how would y- y'all both, we all three, three of us got kids, dog. How would y'all kids uh, handling this shit, dog? How was it? Was it hard keeping them niggas in the crib? Like, nah. how was that shit? It actually wasn't as bad as I expected because you figure I was in with my daughter day in, day out. Um, shout out to the teachers mm-hmm. because I'm me, telling you, I became a teacher during this. <laughs> Let me tell you what, that is not easy work. Hell no, nah. it is not that easy. New work. math is fucking hard. Them motherfuckers want to know how, nigga, two times soon. How did you get it, motherfucker? Two times two, nigga. They want they you want to answers. everything. Yeah, my son be, I be, I be happy as hell. You know how I do this shit? Yeah. All right, bet. Was they ready? Yeah. Was they ready to? Um, was that was your kids not handling it well? They wanted to get out. No, my son was straight until like. Three weeks ago, they be like, dog, I'm, I'm trying to get out of this bitch. It's, it's, it's the little <laughs> kids that, like, the older kids, they like, I don't give a fuck, I'm chilling yeah, anyway. Yeah, I'm playing 2K yeah. online. Yeah, like, like, the youngest ones, they, they're none of the ones that want to get out and go do shit and go places. Like, yeah. man, like my, my little right son, now. my four-year-old, three-year-old, he be wanting to go over his, uh, his mom's parents' house and shit. And, like, if you know his, his fucking granddad, this nigga is crazy, bro. This nigga is crazy. This nigga crashed his car because he had the mask on in the car and fucking... His, he wear fucking work glasses in the car because he said that the shit can get in your eyes, your ears, so he put cotton balls in his ears. So this motherfucker, <laughs> glasses got foamy and shit, foggy and shit, and he crashed the motherfucking car into a tree. <laughs> I'm like, dog. Wait, his granddaddy? Yes. This Wait nigga, a minute. This nigga would not, we come over here, nigga, he would not pound you. He would, he'd be in a, a distance for real. <laughs> this nigga not touching your motherfucking hand. And then, if he you He's sleeping in a mask. Th- he should. That nigga drive with that bitch, nigga, everything. He came outside. I don't get that shit while people drive with the mask. Yeah, you in your car, nigga. You in your fucking car, bro. No, but look, motherfuckers would be having the gloves on, shopping, and then pull out their phone, and then put their phone back like, dog, you 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 touch that that bitch. You got got that bitch on your ear, nigga. And then you touching everything, put it in your buggy. When you get home, you about to put it in your cabinet, refrigerator, (laughs) freezer, like... This shit don't be making sense. Some of this shit motherfuckers do, man. And then niggas making that fucking mask, and you can... Blow right through that bitch like. Oh, I seen the video where it, uh, it was a white chick. She went to a store and like it wasn't no audio. But I guess them niggas told her like you can't be in without no mask. This motherfucker pulled her pants off, took her panties off, put them on her fucking head, and fucking put her pants back on. <laughs> Dog. Wow. Dead ass. Dog. That should be funny though. Like you be up. seeing niggas like. Niggas got fashion with that bitch like bad bitch on their motherfucking mouth and shit. <laughs> they doing too much with it. <laughs> yeah. People like, start tripping with the, with these masks. Yeah, man. I, like I said, man, I hate having that bitch on. When I go to Walmart, I do my shit. shopping, I put that bitch on real quick, take it right off. Like, But when I be seeing niggas... You don't like, even need that bitch in Walmart. It's only if you want to wear it. Yeah. I be clowning niggas in the car with the mask on. Like, dog, you in your fucking car, bro. Like... It's over now, though. Gloves, it's over now. Niggas though. riding bikes with masks on. Like, nigga, is come that, on. Is that true that it's over now? We back? Mm-mm. Shit, niggas Damn. making it seem like it, like... I don't know what the fuck is... is, is Cause I don't know shit, I'm back up Monday, right? I mean, I feel like I, I ain't gonna lie. This probably 
the first time I'm probably hate on anything, but I feel like, hey, now they gotta go back to work. Everybody gotta go back to work. <laughs> Fuck yeah. that. But niggas about fifty percent capacity, like yeah, they is. If you go to the like club, that. you got a fucking club with the mask on. Bar, like, I ain't about sitting no fucking bar with my mask on at all. Ain't nobody gonna do that. Period. I just park the crib. Fuck out of here. Okay, how soon? How soon, y'all? What's the one thing y'all had missed the most? Like as far as like the, when the shit hit the nail shop. <laughs> all right. <laughs> What about uh, you? I'm just ready to ride some motherfucking roller coasters, man. Go on vacation, they, man, shit like that. Yeah, we supposed to do some shit. But I can wait on that shit. But that's like one thing. And Ooh. I did miss going out to eat too. I, I'm sorry. I missed to that eat too. I ain't gonna lie. And the most fucked up shit about all this, I want to go to the worst place that you could possibly go to after all this shit. Real lobster. <laughs> nope, go to Corral. <laughs> <laughs> it's a buffet. I, I think both days is over. I think they said that's it's how, done. Yeah, I, I heard that. And I'm yeah. like, dog, go to Corral. I love that bitch, dog. You can go to, you can get motherfucking fried chicken, you get shrimp, you can get motherfucking potatoes, you get pizza. nachos, shrimp, pizza, Duh. fucking dinner rolls. You can't even salad. eat all that, dog. Oh. They give you all them options. You can't That's eat all saying. that. You just be go sitting the there with all these no, options. Like the last you gotta be high as hell. The last to go to the time I been, I probably, I probably, I probably triple back or or four back there. <laughs> Like, I'm like, man, look, I'm getting no, my money. What was that one shit? All the money's worth fast, nigga, buffet. man. What was that shit? That was back in the day. Yeah, bro. old country buffet, dog. I used to fuck that shit up, bro. We go, used to go there when I was a kid all the time. they still got the you can go get? I don't uh, know. Damn, cuz. That's my call you, bro. Oh, this nigga fucking wine with the motherfucking phone calls. Damn, this nigga dropping cups. <laughs> but yeah, dog, like, like Golden Corral and, um, that shit like that might be done. It's gonna be funny, like dog. Like I seen church, like church was packed as hell, dog. When I was riding over here this morning, I ain't gonna. Lie. I was hyped when I opened church back up. My my bishop actually like filed a lawsuit against against the state of Michigan, saying they was violating our rights, and he yeah. won. Yeah. Uh, as far as church, dog, I wasn't going to church before the quarantine, so I was though. I ain't, gonna lie. Like, I ain't no church nigga. Me neither, dog. You ain't no church. I grew nigga. up being a church nigga. <laughs> See, he crazy. So you got church, church hold nigga. Hold on, hold on, my bad. I mean to say that. <laughs> Church boy, uh, I grew up being a, a church, church boy. Man. Like my my grandma, church man. my grandma had me, <laughs> both of my brothers, you ain't a church and man. two of my cousins. Like we grew up in that. She bought us church coats and shit. We was mad as hell. Hey, we addressed like niggas in motherfucking Blue Hill Avenue before Blue Hill Avenue came. Up. Y'all probably was looking cute. Y'all niggas ever seen Blue Hill Avenue? Yeah, niggas. Hey, that's how we was dressed. You be hiding to see little kids dressed up in their little dress clothes. Hey, we, I, hey, we used to have Joe Porter suits on. Easter, no. which y'all niggas know about Joe no, Porter. No. Say, I'm a church man, cause man. church man. <laughs> I mean, no, I but look, hyped, I ain't, look, I ain't got no religion, but I, I believe in God. Like, yeah, that's what I say. I believe in God. But I, ain't, I ain't going to church, yeah. but I got a pastor. Yeah. You do? Why you don't want to go to church? Uh, I ain't got time. You ain't got time. <laughs> I was going on Wednesdays. I wasn't even going on Sundays. What were you going? What church? I only went to church on yeah. Sundays, like. I know people who was going like on Tuesday, Thursday. Like, but see, I hate I hate the church when you can just like shake everybody's hand in your in your in your spot. You shake everybody's hand from that one spot. Like I hate my own. Oh, uh, when church. they say um, go go say hi to your neighbor. You yeah. gotta go around and greet people. See, my, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that party. My own church was so small part. though. You could shake everybody's hand and not move. Like nigga, I hated that John. Like dog, so you, everybody shook your no, hand. But yeah. my, like, growing up, like my church was the shit, but. I'm just not a church nigga, dog. Like dog, uh, a church man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Same difference. I'm just not a, man, like hey. I, ain't, I ain't disrespecting the church or nothing like that. I played on the church league basketball team. Didn't go to the church though. How you crazy. did. <laughs> I'm on team killing. I'm not. Hey, <laughs> nah, I would have hooped in the church league because we would probably been hooping up a couple young young niggas my age, but for the most part, been old ass niggas. Lip niggas probably would have been wearing. Fucking them uh barbecue sandals. I'm crossing them niggas the yeah. fuck up. Get your <laughs> old ass out of here. Hey man, I forgot to ask the question. So we was talking about the what's name, dog? What? Bed etiquette. Don't put your ass on me. If we ain't fucking. What? What you mean? <laughs> don't put your ass on me. If Honestly, we ain't. I don't see how niggas cuddle. Like, like, okay, <laughs> boom. She can want to cuddle once, like. Okay, if she cuddling and she put her ass up against me, okay, nigga might start up on soft. Then eventually, that motherfucker gonna go to medium. <laughs> yeah, that motherfucker gonna go to uh, medium hard. <laughs> it's gonna go to hard. Nigga, stink, nigga. <laughs> hey, it's levels to this shit. It's gonna eventually grow. Next thing you know, you gonna be trying to spoon and all that. Next thing you know, your dick gonna be right on her ass. This nigga stink, nigga. But I don't be wanting. I, I don't understand. 
me and her mom want to cuddle than women, though. I think uh, I think guys be wanting to cuddle. I don't. Talking about uh, bed etiquette. I just and I don't like to sleep underneath nobody. Like when it's time to go to sleep, and, I just and then, sleep and then I, I cannot do that either. Like people be thinking I'm being mean, but like I be hot. Like <laughs> just, <laughs> scoot over. It's right. not comfortable. I need to be able to stretch out on my own in my own space. Like that's cute for a few minutes, yeah, and then it got like sure. okay, let's just. Because you don't get numb minutes, minutes, you're like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Why? Right. Grow you like, <laughs> and we be like five minutes into the movie, like. <laughs> right, right. Don't even get to the whole movie start. Like we gotta oh, rewind it, rewind the movie. Dog, I don't watch, I don't watch movies in, 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 the, in the bedroom. Like I don't you know mm. what? We just watch it in the living room. Shit, we get the bedroom. Shit, we y'all watch porn? No, I never watch porn. With my girl, dog. Right. Never. That really <laughs> a big thing. I, I did that. It, it don't really do shit. Yeah. Cause then what? what I ain't did it long you got that's competition. Cause Hell, the dog. porn man might be going for too long, nigga. <laughs> You got a motherfucker match that motherfucker oh, expectation, oh. nigga. That's why you go back to you screen the porn. You cut on a good one where it's probably just the girl riding. And you be like, okay, bet. I want you to do what she doing. You don't try to put no, on no fucking did, uh, West Coast before. Productions. They be like an hour long. First of all, them, them bitches be like, it's just an hour long. It be the girl introducing herself for 20 minutes. Hi. Then it be the girl playing herself for 20 minutes. Showing them titties for like that? Five 40 minutes. minutes. Okay. <laughs> then it be like the girl giving head for probably about 15 minutes. <laughs> then it be the nigga probably fucking her for five minutes, but like in segments. <laughs> Come on, you got hey, you got to break that shit down. I don't be watching porn. Man, that's why you got to get your best moves, nigga. I'll give you about you gotta eight, watch amateur eight porn moves, you watch like- porn. <laughs> amateur porn. Amateur porn. Cause when you, cause like I'm, I'm, all, I'm all burnt out on regular nigga porn. Like I done seen all the motherfucking <laughs> caramels, uh, motherfucking, uh, motherfucking Sarah J's, Duh. Alexis Breeze, Roxy Reynolds, <laughs> Beauty Dior. I mean, that bitch searching like nigga Big Booty Mamas. Yeah, you gotta do Big Booty Mamas. <laughs> Like when when I did go on Pornhub, let me tell you what happened. It was like local women in your area ready to fuck now. They be saying stuff like that. Yeah. That's all them ass. You just yeah. go. Do that be true? Them. Like it be yeah. somebody at home that's ready to just have sex? I ain't seen that shit. That's like backpack. <laughs> 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 Is that like a like hot mom ready? Same thing. I never did that shit. I'm straight on that. Shit, I never did that shit. Y'all crazy. I'm straight on that. Yeah. Hey, have you ever paid for some dick? Hell, man, what? Is that crazy? <laughs> Hell no, never. Okay, do so at the end of the day, do you pay for pussy? Because if 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 it is, I never pay for pussy. I, never I mean, pay. they say you pay for it indirectly, like if you take a, a female to the movies, movies and shit like that. But just straight out, like I got three hundred. These niggas that do that. Have you yeah, ever, hell yeah. Have you ever paid for um some pussy, but the other nigga fuck? So you what? went on a date, nigga. You went on a date, nigga. Movie, eat. And she ain't left the motherfucking crib and go fuck motherfucking mm-hmm. Tyrone. Yep, that didn't happen. I did that. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. So, mad so like what? The whole time you had him on your mind, but you were just eating that shit and just ch- chilling with uh motherfucking uh motherfucking Thomas. I don't know. Just, I don't I know. Shit, man. I probably didn't <laughs> ever have no intention of fucking them. Yeah. Like, do a female know like I'm fucking this nigga from the jump? Yeah. All right, bet. They know, but then that shit can change. You know, you you could talk yourself out the pussy, or you could talk yourself into the pussy. Yeah. No, That's nine okay. times out of ten, I mean, I'm you, consistent with my shit. I know if I want to fuck a nigga or not. I know off top. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. And I've already made my mind up if I'm going to fuck him. Yeah. If it's somebody that I'm kicking it with. Yeah. And I know when I'm going to do it. Okay. You do know. So, I look, a woman tell myself, you that, she probably lying. I ain't never yeah. talked myself out of no pussy. But I definitely didn't talk myself into some pussy. I mean, I'm trying to think. Have I told myself I was on? Hmm. Hmm. That nigga pondering. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn, have I told myself out? I don't know if I told myself out. I don't know if I told myself in. Yeah. Maybe you did. What's going on with my life? I don't know. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like Malcolm X. Like, and you the window with the motherfucking What is higher? What is learning? <laughs> what? <laughs> learning? How learning? This is my man in the beginning of the movie. Like, you crazy? What is higher? You know that shit, cause my nigga like, Remy. They had that. Hey, they had that race. Speaking of race shit, they had that race little strap on with busting rhymes and ice cube. Yeah, hell yeah. Fuck the white. All right, let's get on that shit, then, man. Shit. The race shit. She's a motherfucking good ass nigga. Shit, as far as going into some shit, like what y'all feel about this shit, man? You know, I like to talk about shit like this, but I like to keep it. You could laugh. Anything, I'd be so fucking serious, like. But with that shit, it was fucked up. Like when I'm looking at the video, like only thing that nigga could have. Preventing all this fucking uh, uh, protests and marches if the nigga just would got off my man neck, dog. 
Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, you that's get a lot. Shit. You get a lot of cops. That's that's some bitch ass niggas in the streets, and they want to be a cop just so they can get back at the niggas who fuck, who fuck with them, fuck them up as. And it's a kids. lot of people that's just flat out racist. Yeah, hell yeah. yeah. And that's and they know like if you kill a black dude and you a cop, at the end of the day, you gonna get away with it. Ain't been no, yeah, ain't yeah, been one cop that went to jail. To. Yeah, like you you had a thousand niggas like that didn't kill black people. Like I'm they, sure, they, I they still out here in the streets. Say this, but I don't give a fuck. Like that protesting and that marching shit, cool. But man, I feel like nigga, I for one of my eye for both of your eyes, nigga. You kill somebody I fucking love and adore, yeah. nigga. I want to kill everybody you connected with. Then I want to kill you last. <laughs> yeah. That's just me. Cause it's fucked up. Cause watching the video, I, I'm mad. I watched the video, dog. Cause like nigga, it was like eight minutes of this nigga just chilling on this nigga neck, nigga laughing like. And he's sitting down chilling. Smiling like he's chilling, nigga. sitting yeah, there. Yeah, like cuz like And then from the from the picture I saw I only seen one cop. Another person yeah. told it from the other angle. It's two other niggas. They all they all on nigga back, yeah. nigga legs. And like then, yeah. to find out that hey, and then was, nigga I one cut nigga on my Call black. of Duty to play Call of Duty. They shit showing Black Lives Matter yeah. and shit. Really? On the two K they showing that a lot of games it's like But at the end of the day. I'm though, thinking like, okay, is this shit like do these niggas are they just putting this shit out for a statement? No, a lot of people or do like that. do niggas finally see like Dog, we get treated so like everybody want to be us, but they don't want to be yeah, us. For real, Come on, now you can't. Now I ain't, I ain't lying about that. Every race, them niggas want to do any everything we do. Yeah, like yeah. I look at it like this. Don't get me wrong, everybody cool, but I look like everybody else is like plain potato chips. We fuck a plain potato chip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. good drinking. Like if I'm yeah. drinking, I'm, I'm playing. I don't want flavor. Yeah, yeah. But it's like black people. We the flavors. We the ranch. We the barbecue. We the skeet barbecue. Right. We yeah, the cooler yeah. ranch. Sure. We the hot. We all that shit. That's yeah. us. Yeah, and y'all yeah. just that. Yeah. And it's yeah, like yeah. you want to step outside the box sometimes. That's why I like us black niggas like, oh, I want some of the plain potatoes right there. Get a little snow bunny and shit like that. You feel me? Like, it's silly. but I'm just saying though, like no, everybody want to be us, but they don't do. want to be us. They want to be us, but they don't everybody wanna... want fat asses now. That's black girl shit. Everybody yeah. kind of want to lips, get puff her lips. Yep. Yeah. Everybody want to fill up like, their lips. Yeah, Most fucking white girls wearing extensions and weaves. Like y'all should already fucking long. Yeah. And, and, right. Yeah, end of the day, they, they want they want to be us as far as like music and our style and shit like that. But at the end of the day, they don't want to walk. In our shoes and have to go through what we gotta right. go through. Right. They just want the, the 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 luxury type shit, just like just the cool shit. But they don't want yeah. the swag. Yeah, but they don't want to have to go through what we gotta go. You through You want the blessing shit. without the burden. It don't exactly. work like that. Yeah, yeah. You so. know what I mean? And that's really that's really what it is. And that's true. You're right. Everybody do want to take a little piece, but I feel yeah. like we all kind of like uh, take a little piece from each other too. Like you know, yeah. like yeah, you got you got motherfucking white. I mean, black girls who want to get blonde hair and shit like that. And yeah, but they, I think everybody got their right to express their individuality. If you feel like something that somebody else is doing another race and you kind of like it and you want to give it a try, I think that that's. I ain't never want to be cool. no other nigga though. I'm, I'm happy to be <laughs> myself. Like yeah. no other man. Like, yeah. I don't give a fuck about y'all. Y'all privilege. Like man, I'm, yeah. I'm happy being me. I'm comfortable in my own but, skin. Yeah. But I feel like like. If I had to compare myself to a nigga, like I'd probably be like a Snoop Dogg nigga. Like <laughs> Snoop Dogg can go to the hoodest of the hoods yeah. and be smooth. Yeah. Snoop Dogg can go to the bur the the suburbs of the suburbs. He got a show with Marcus. Be good. Stewart, and, man, and, and, sure. and at the same time, he always himself. Like when I'm when I'm yeah, around my white people, himself. when he I'm around my white same. people, I'm the same way. When I'm with my niggas in the hood, who fucking in and out of jail, going to jail, shooting niggas. I'm the same yeah, way. Man. Like I'm not switching up. Yeah, for sure. A lot of niggas can't do that. They got a fucking Fucking put on two different hats. They yeah, like man, people. fuck all that, man. At the end of the day, I'm always just me. Yeah, yeah. I think Charlemagne no is up. like that too. Yeah. He always consistent. Like he always the same. If he interviewing, if he yeah, he always yeah yeah. yeah. If he doing like, a, if he did an interview with T D J S or he do one with Cameron, he yeah, always it's gonna the be same. the same type of motherfucker yeah. though. Like he ain't gonna switch up just to yeah. just to please somebody and shit like that though. But with this whole shit, like, do y'all think like at the end of the day when they doing these marches, they doing these protests and shit like? The thing I don't like about it is that it don't last. It lasts for a time being. Well, every every everybody in America, all fifty states have protested. That's true. That's true. But is it gonna happen next month? Like my thing, I think that the only way this shit gonna work out is if you got like a you say you consistency. Have, yeah. So every month it should be like some, some type of meeting with the regular motherfuckers, the, 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 the people, your mayor, your your We do need to organize. If we could do that, that we could get this, a lot more. This, this is the most like. Effectiveness that has been since a long time, yeah. though, like mm-hmm. real for real. Have you had to cut somebody off? But as far as as far as consistency, mm-hmm. it's like okay, we so never had it's, niggas, it's niggas about to make the Black Panthers again. Yeah. The Black Panthers. I'm about to tell you exactly this, this what member, we need to do. But yeah. the KKK, them niggas been long running since <laughs> forever. Nigga. Yeah. 
This is what we need to do. Because we, okay, think about how much music is, everybody can relate to music, right? Yeah. So, no matter what your color is. We need to know so, what's going on. this is what Tupac said. I'm about to tell y'all, we, we really could do the this. The shit, the shit could be, exactly. Yeah. This shit could be so easy. Like, okay, so what he said was basically, I'm going to give Detroit as an example. All the popular Detroit rappers that's like really made it or whatever will come to Detroit and do a free concert. Okay, mm -hmm. the reason why we're gonna do it free is because everybody can't afford the tickets. Yeah. But when, but because we're doing it for free, we want your signature on this thing saying that we ride with these people for this particular reason, or we are gonna get these people registered to vote. That's not registered to vote, right? Yeah. We want you. We want. So now we didn't do this free concert. We getting all y'all registered to vote. While we up there doing our concert, you're gonna get each rapper to kind of say something about how we pose, like basically uniting. Like, okay, we got y'all registered to vote. Yeah. Now in this state of Detroit, you want to be the governor here. You want to be the mayor here. We got this many voters what you gonna do for us because yeah. they not gonna they ride with us yeah, sure. that's how you can do it in cali you can do that in the d you can do it in yeah. chicago you can do it everywhere just by giving that and free concert with them rappers or them, or them singers and yeah. getting people registered to vote and then we got voters so we can make demands and you gotta keep that line of communication just open like not just when it's fucked up but just like nigga after this shit just keep that motherfucking line of communication cool you got police officers regular niggas niggas who play for pistons the lions like just keep it so once a month y'all meeting up and it's like just having some type of meeting and talking about mm -hmm. what y'all can do to make the city better what y'all can do to make sure everything is equal like don't make it just for the time being a lot of times we be like just in the moment niggas. What was like, the name yeah. of that? What's the name of that thing they got here? Is it New Era Detroit or what's that? Yeah. Is that what it's, New Era Detroit? Like they they was doing something or whatever. And like <clears throat> um, I think like it's basically like a movement. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's gonna take time. And it's gonna take yeah. consistency, like you said. Yeah, keep that shit up though. It can't just be like somebody get killed. Now we mad oh, and yeah, we post yeah, some yeah, black yeah. squares on Instagram like that ain't nothing. Yeah, but you gotta keep that shit up. Like when ain't nobody and talking we, about we it. Them, uh, we up. need them other allies, not just white allies. We need the motherfucking uh. Oriental people. Yeah. We need the Native Americans. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking we Mexican, the, uh, motherfucking Spanish, whatever, whatever. Niggas. The, mother, uh, the motherfucking Latino niggas. No, we don't need, we need none of them. All we need is us. If we can come together with us, all of us, we are we we not outnumbered. We, we not the minority. Yeah, that is true. That is true. That's true. Cause that's the thing. Black people always want to include other people. Which we need, I, we need well, all of us. No other people don't want to include us. Yeah. But we need we need them too. We, we, need, we, need, we need to need, focus on look, us. We need them white allies. I'm not gonna hold you. We need them white allies. No, like, not just enough of us. We need all we'll put ourselves in a position of power when when we when we See, end I up. I had to cuss a white nigga out the other day. <laughs> you had to cuss a white, white nigga out. out. See y'all go. All these I had to niggas. cuss a white dude out the other day. So so we need to stop saying nigga. Period. No, no I'm just laughing. No, I don't care what no, y'all do. I got That's a, us, nigga. That's nigga, my favorite word. I ain't gonna lie. So like, I'm in, I'm, I I'm, know I'm, this. I'm in West Bloomfield and shit, <laughs> and then. The, Everybody marching and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Fight the power and shit like that, whatever. So then, I'm working with some white motherfuckers, and I found out that the manager who had black, had white, he hate that he black, at low key, because he hate any of this shit. Uh -huh. So I'm waiting for somebody to say something stupid. So I'm in the break room, chilling. I come out, I hear my man say, like, yeah, they not making, it's no difference. They just making people mad. I'm like, cuz, look, you white. You, you ain't never walked in my shoes. You ain't never been a black man before. Shut the fuck up, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, shut the fuck up. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You been a white boy staying out in West Bloomfield, a privileged, privileged, privileged ass nigga mm -hmm. <laughs> your whole life. You don't know what it is to motherfucking struggle, so shut the fuck up. And he didn't say shit to me after that. Like, but you got to check niggas. Like, you got to check these white motherfuckers because mm -hmm. they are sitting here saying, like, this is stupid. Nigga, you don't know what the fuck, you don't know what the fuck it is to be a, a black man got to be scared in a fucking suburban neighborhood because you driving. And the police yeah. get behind you. You all mad get nervous and shit. Dick that went inside your motherfucking stomach. Because you scared Chicks as hell. went inside your stomach. Because <laughs> you scared as fuck. Because <laughs> you could be legit as hell, but still hey, I've be never nervous. heard that. <laughs> <laughs> you could be scared as hell, but still not know. Like, this nigga is behind me. He can do whatever he can do. And y'all niggas heard YG new song, Fuck the Police. Yeah, Throw yeah, that like, shit hard. Yo, I, Jim Jones got no shit. T Grizzly weak ass got some shit. With Queen Naj, I heard yeah, that. Yeah. Out of all that shit. <laughs> I fuck a white. You think T Grizzly weak? I don't think he weak though. I fuck with T Grizzly. I think T Grizzly one of the one of the, one of the niggas from the that, that's that's actually hard. I respect them though. I respect on the, like, on the, the music, day, I respect that nigga dog. Like for real. Damn, my motherfucker mic coming down. Yeah, but that shit like at the end of the day, dog, it just take us to figure this shit out, dog. We don't need nobody else. Like like Chase said, we don't need nobody else, dog. We just need us. Yeah. As long as we can stay together and not hate off each other and just stick together, yeah, dog. Everybody. That's not trying to disinclude nobody. If you want to uh, join, come join. But my goal is need, to I'm telling you, we need, we need all of us. Plus, you need some of them. Not all of them. I'm telling you, we need some of them. 
Because they got connections. And that's what this world based upon. You get to where you need to be based upon connections. Yeah. Facts. But it's black people that got connections that's, that's high up too. But they got connections probably to another motherfucker from another motherfucker <laughs> to another motherfucker. You never know. But it's we need. Man. But like I said, we definitely need all of us and we need some of them. Because yeah. they run this shit. We going to need some of them to get us up in there to infiltrate the system. Yeah. Infiltrate the system. <laughs> So shit, y'all think like at the end of the day, y'all right, y'all think like this shit gonna change some shit for real? Or you think shit gonna be the same? Nope. What? Like Hell as far as like this Black Lives nigga, Matter, like you think like this you June, think white people gonna, gonna really give in, nigga in July or August is gonna be another cop doing the same shit. Yeah. We gonna have niggas to get killed every day by the police, but all that shit don't make the news. Like the yeah. the, the, the 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 girl that got shot up in her crib, the paramedic lady, like yeah. that's fucked up shit. Yeah. I don't know. It's gonna be like you said. It's gonna be. It's gonna determine if we consistent. Yeah, so. that's, all, that's, that's what it's all about. Consistency. Like don't just like do- niggas. Niggas gotta man. Like I ain't gonna lie. I think that's why. I'm, I mean, I didn't hit it yet, but that's why I didn't hit the lottery so far. Cause I'm. A, I'm a motherfucker. Make shit happen. Like mm-hmm. I'm finna hit the lottery soon. It's for four hundred and thirteen million. I was looking at that. On the, <laughs> no, um, see, on I need to talk about the. I'm, I'm, shit, just let a nigga like me hit the fantasy five <laughs> or the motherfucking the keynote, uh, lotto forty seven. <laughs> Like let me get that for a low million, a couple hundred thousand. Like I don't, I don't need all that boo cool hundred millions. Like if, if God want to give me that, thou shall take it. <laughs> <laughs> thou shall take it. See, that's my church. That's your right church there. man. Okay? Yeah. Church man. <laughs> church man. <laughs> but like, you think like all these niggas be talking about how they got look? All these niggas talk about how they got shooters and shit. Like, <laughs> dog, why is Dylan Roof still alive? Why is Zimmerman still alive? Like, nigga, I would have been. Went to a random hood where I know like niggas <laughs> fucking shoot niggas up like bro. Nigga, you <laughs> I got a hundred thousand niggas. It's in church, man. Get that nigga uh, Zimmerman the fuck out of here. For real. Dude. Like all these niggas, I'll be dropping bags on so many niggas. And like my heart good and God know that, but he probably like, man, come on, cuz. This nigga in the church, man. Dog, it's funny, I was watching one show I did, nigga. I said nigga about fifteen times in one sentence, dog. I'm like, damn, what the fuck going on, bro? But niggas is niggas. That's a good ass word though. It's a good ass well, word. Hell yeah. So it, that's our word though. I ain't forget about you, Chase Dog. What? You said earlier we wanted to get on like dreams and shit. Oh yeah, no. Nah, so um, let's get off the, you know, black lives always matter, but fuck y'all who don't think it is. But with you the dreams. Lucid dreams. Yeah, like you, Sometimes, yeah, for real. Like you are, when you in your dream and know you dreaming. Yeah. That's that's I've had that. Yeah. Like I'm knowing I'm dreaming and I'm in my dream. I done had a witch on my back. When you can't move. <laughs> But you woke. Oh, you that happened to me. Oh yeah. I just had fucked up dreams about why the fuck I dream that shit. Like nigga, what the fuck? Yeah. You be dreaming all kind of stuff. Like I used to dream about my old house that I grew up in, like all the time. I used to dream about it. I don't know why, but I stopped. And now I started dreaming about my auntie house. Yeah. My auntie has passed. Okay. Now her house is no longer there. Her house is torn down. Yeah. And I keep dreaming about stuff happening at her house. Mm. And I'm and she's there. Yeah. So it's like. What is this? Yeah, dreams be crazy. For I had a dream about my mom, like that they did her out of the fucking out, out of the dirt. She came out of her casket and we were talking. For real? And she went back in that motherfucker. Went back under the ground. What was she talking about? She just talking about this 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 regular shit. Hmm. Just see, I'd have had regular a lot shit of like, dreams about my pops, but they ain't never been like to that extreme. Like when they come out. The I'm talking about they we, we did detail. her out. My auntie drove me to the motherfucking cemetery. They did her out the motherfucking shit. She came out that bitch. Just we just having conversation about shit. Yeah, I talked to my pops a lot. Like one thing I hate, dog. I ain't about to get all sentimental and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I fucking hate that my motherfucking pops didn't get a chance to meet my little mama. Oh yeah, for sure. Dog, I feel like, dog, like when my when my little mama personality mm-hmm. and how my pops was. Dog, that's how I feel so about my. Is that dog. your favorite child? No, I ain't got no favorite child. I love all my. I kids. think I, I think people got favorites. People play for you. Got oh, a favorite son? Man, no. Look, you ain't gonna say it on camera. Because no, no, like, cause I, I mean, like, like, like you got you got break it down. It's like. I feel like the middle child always gets shitted on. I'm the middle I, child. I'm the middle child. Like too. the first child, you the yeah. first one, yeah. and it's the baby, and then it's like you just okay, the, the baby, middle. the baby, and you in the middle. You stuck I, in the middle. I always yeah. felt like my little brother got the love that I didn't get because like my dad wasn't around, so my. I always get my ass beat by my dad, so my mom be like holding me and shit. Mm. So when Mel came along, nigga, shit, he got nigga everything that I didn't get because shit, mm. my dad was already kind of gone. But my situation mm. different because, for one, my my youngest. 
is she the youngest and on top of that she's the she only girl, girl. She only girl right she the so it's, it's like a different ball it's game off, so it's off top like they the might they might they girl. might think is she get the best screaming but like no like they gonna let that slide anyway. all y'all all y'all get in trouble based upon what the fuck you do like ain't yeah. ain't, ain't no favoritism this way like now, i say this, pocket, i say this i say this though like i got my family play favorites i got two kids i got one on the way so with my my two, you got one on the way yeah is it a girl i don't know yet i don't know until next month so uh i hope it's a girl ready I got a couple of them. It seemed like she don't like none of my names and shit. But you put some shit like uh, Rashad. No, <laughs> well, Rashonda. It's no, it's not, it's none of Rashada. that. It's none of the, do my name and shit. Like, <laughs> I, I did Kobe Dora, Gianna, and shit like because Kobe Bryant, my favorite. So I was player. thinking of that. Like nigga, I remember I woke up to that shit. I ain't trying to cut your story off. You know, Man, motherfuckers was, I was like, doing the show. About, motherfuckers was like, uh, Kobe did and shit. Like my daughter, that is like her fifteen time. No, she wants you to pick your ass up. Uh, oh, you can see her while she FaceTiming you? Well, it's duo. My little mama hit me up right there. I'm going to have to call her in a minute. We almost done anyway. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, dog, I'm like, when I'm reading that shit, I'm like, when it was like, Kobe died, I'm like, get the fuck out of here. I thought it was fake. What the fuck Kobe could die from? Yeah. And then, like, <laughs> like what the yeah. fuck could yeah. kill Kobe? The, the nigga ain't on no, no bullshit. Yeah. It's Kobe. So I'm, 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 I'm finally reading the reports and shit. Man. And then they, like, his daughter passed with him. Dog, that, that shit hurt. That shit hurt. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna lie Matter of fact, speaking of this whole man. corona shit, dog, like, Man, I, like, cause I was checking, click on Detroit every day. I don't watch the yeah. news, yeah. dog. I ain't seen the article. Well, I think a little girl was five years old. Dog, that shit made me cry. I'm yeah. gonna just keep it real. Hell like, yeah. I hate seeing shit happen to kids, man. Yeah, for sure. Hell Here, yeah. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, like, that Kobe man. shit had me, nigga. I, nigga, I, my son called me crying. I got mad. Like, nigga, get your ass in the room. <laughs> I mean, about crying cause the whole Kobe shit. Cause like. Yeah. His daughter, like, you got to think, like, damn, like, you got to think that about... That was sad. I, was I, the, I ain't gonna lie, I cried, too. What was the last moment? Like, you know you and your daughter on this on this I feel bad plane. for y'all his b- wife. Yeah, but you what? know, like, think about him and his daughter, like, y'all know it's over. You know it's over. You going down, nigga. You going to picture what the fuck they talking to what each other about. What they were saying to each other, yeah. yeah. So that shit hurt like a motherfucker, though. But, yeah, so I got two sons. The only difference is, with my oldest son, I'm a little bit more overprotective because... Uh, with my with my youngest son, he got my family. He got his mama family. Um, she her uh, her mom is married to somebody. His family like they all treat him with give him love. Uh-huh. With my son, his mom is in Florida, so he with me. So I I'm a little bit more overprotective over him. Okay. Just because I know where we came from and shit like that, so uh-huh. I gotta be overprotective over him. But just because shit, we ain't got no family, no big family for real. Okay. His mom's side family fucked up. My side family shit. It's, it's niggas dying like all the part people gone. Yeah. So I gotta be a little bit more overprotective over him. But with the love part, it's the same. Yeah. But I was just overprotective over him. Like you can't say shit about him. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> because like, it's just, like for the mo- for the, for the most part, it was just me and him. Like nigga, I wasn't planning on getting no relationship. Like it was just me and my son. Period. Well, I know my family play favorites for sure. Yeah. Like I don't think my dad got a favorite child, but I got a brother and it's me. That's it. Yeah. Um, but I know my, like, my grandma and them, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, my whole family, like, we, like, we got all these uncles and aunts, so you got your favorite aunt, your favorite uncle, your favorite sure. cousin. Yeah. So. I think we all spoke for the most part. Some of the people that I roll with hard, like, the long way, like, it just, we not there no more. That, yeah. that, that ship is sailed. But yeah. you know what? Punk Every ass. time, <laughs> when, when, the more you elevate in life, the more people you lose. Yeah, for sure. That's <laughs> you always gonna lose That's people. a yeah. Snapple fact, Jack. I be telling yeah. my motherfucking kids who I coach, like, dog, you got <coughs> with this person, but I'm guaranteeing you, y'all in middle school, high school, you're not going to know no motherfuckers, dog. When you get in college, you ain't, you for sure ain't going to know these people. You're going to have a whole different circle. So, like, for y'all be going crazy, they be going crazy about relationships, like, dog, this shit's stupid. Y'all not about to, nigga, y'all about to be together for two weeks. And like, what fuck y'all sitting here getting mad, nigga? This shit coming in practice, and you ain't practicing hard because of fucking Dante or, or Felicia. Like, nigga, shut up. Y'all young, nigga. There ain't no relationship. Man, I don't want to hear that. Yeah, like, my first real relationship, I was, like, with ninth grade. I wrote my whole conversation down before I talked to her. Mm-hmm. Like, Nick, what's your favorite color? How you doing? <laughs> my nigga, I ain't going to say his name, but I remember when I was in the crib one time, this nigga had a sheet of paper. He had down favorite color, favorite food. Favorite Duh, I, did candy, I did that shit. I did that shit. Every time, I'm like, bro, you on some simp-ass shit. I did that shit. I was a simp. Shit, man, we about to wind down, man. And you already know, I, already, I don't know if y'all niggas got stories and shit. Some new stories, maybe. As far as like the whole high moment drum moment, man. Yeah, 
I got some some shit. I'm, I'm gonna just use my moment to promote. I ain't go. I ain't got. I ain't got no story. I got another. I got stories since the whole quarantine shit, dog. Well, tell your shit. We go so, down the line. Oh, Soul Train line. So uh, what we doing? High moment, jump moment. High moment, dry moment. Yeah. Okay. So I had high moment recently. Uh, my my homeboy, my cousin Lance and shit. This nigga had, uh was like, dog, we don't smoke, but let's get some uh edibles. My right bet. So his cousin knew somebody who made the brownies and shit. So he bring me some brownies. So I bet two for uh, two for twenty. So I get I cash up in the twenty. So he bring it over on a Saturday night. But me and you know Q Mount we drinking. So I'm not about to eat no brownie. Okay. So Sunday it's the last shit for the uh, Michael Jordan doc. Mm-hmm. So I'm like fuck I gotta it. Watch now. Yeah. So I, I take the bitch. I take a piece at four thirty. Uh-huh. Eat that shit. By the time six o'clock come, I feel it, but I'm not fucked up. So let me take another piece. I took a good piece. Broke that bitch, huh? Uh-huh. Ate that shit. So by the time the Jordan doc come on, watching it, but I'm fucked up. Uh-huh. I'm high as hell. So at, at 10 o'clock, Insecure come on. So I know my girl won't watch that shit. So I'm going to go in the room and watch the rest of the doc. Uh-huh. I go in the back. I'm watching the doc. I'm in the bed. So I just start getting high as fuck. <laughs> so she I, start kicking I'm in. I'm in the bed. But I'm running in the bed. So my legs like that. I'm running. In the it's bed, like, he was doing it for real. <laughs> I swear, to God, my son in the bed, my three year old be watching the doc. Mm-hmm. I'm running in the bed. Like, fuck, I'm fucked up. Damn. So I get up. I'm like, dog, this shit's crazy. So I start. I got a little apartment. So I'm, I'm okay. walking around the apartment a good ten times. Uh-huh. I'm like, fuck. So I'm looking at Aiden. That's my three year old. He jumping. Uh-huh. I'm like, why the fuck is he jumping so much? <laughs> He's scaring me, dog. He looking right into my soul. <laughs> I'm looking at him like. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh. That's how that shit be. So he jumped up and down. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, Aiden, please stop. Stop. <laughs> so he like, he like, all right, I know you fucked up, so I'm about to run. So he started he said running. That? No, I'm in my mind, he said oh. that. So he like, you fucked up, nigga, so I'm about to run your ass. So he started running. So he running, I'm getting scared. I'm bagging up. <laughs> so I go in my son's room, I'm shy. Watch your brother. He like, where you about to go? Nowhere, nigga. <laughs> Watch this nigga, cuz. Like, he fucking me up right, right. now. So, he know I'm high. Okay? He asked me what that smell. He like, that's my weed in the cab. I'm like, oh, it's brownie. You good? Uh-huh. So, I'm in that bitch. I'm fucked up. So, I go in the shower. My girl in the shower. Hey, I'm like, Alex, I fucked up. Uh-huh. Like, what? I ate too much air brownie. I told you. I'm like, <laughs> so, I, I left out. I'll come back. Alex, I'm still fucked up. <laughs> so, I'm in that bitch. Like, I, I, I'm thinking I'm about to die. Uh-huh. So I'm like, dog, should I put a, a final? Damn, you got to that place. I'm like, should yep. I put a final Facebook post? Like hey, this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I love y'all. So I'm in a bitch. I went outside. I put I put ice on my fucking face and shit. Water. Oh, so shit. I called Malcolm. I'm like, all right, Malcolm, get high all the time. Let me call this nigga. All right, Malcolm, dog, fucked up, bro. Uh-huh. He like, dog, what? I'm like, ate that. I ate the edible. He like, dog, calm down. You ain't high. Your whole body high. Uh huh. It's different from smoking. Your whole body high. I'm like, yeah. dog, I'm hurt. My head feel like it's going into my neck. Yeah. I, I, I'm fucked up. So I, I talked to this nigga at the dining room table for like 10 minutes. I calmed down a little bit. I called Q. Q, nigga, I'm fucked up, dog. Calling everybody. So <laughs> when I talked to Q and Mel, I calmed down a little bit. I'm like, oh, all right, I'm calm a little bit. So I go lay on my girl leg real quick. Aiden still, Aiden still look at me with the motherfucking death eyes. Like, oh. <laughs> so I'm going to bed. I wake up the next morning, dog. Like, dog, I got called off. I'm still high. I call the manager, dog. Like, dog, I call her. Dog, we need you. I'm like, fuck. Uh-huh. I go to work. I'm fucked up the whole time. Like, niggas can see. Like, dog, what's wrong? Like, nigga, I'm fucked up, bro. Uh-huh. I'm doing everything, nigga. I'm scared. I'm fucking shit up, dog. Like, I'm fucked up. <laughs> Until about 6 o'clock that next day, I was fucked up, man. I know what that happened like, to me recently, too. Them oh, some candy. Was- That's my first time I felt like I was going to die. <laughs> For the first time. That's when I thought I had coronavirus. I thought I was dying, but I was high the whole time. I was like, man, I was good. Edible. What? Yes. Yes. And one time when I took that capsule that I had, oh my God, I was over my cousin's house. It was like eight o'clock in the morning. I had spent the night. Matter of fact, you took me over there. <laughs> and I'm like over there. I'm like, I'm about to take this bitch. I got a, a pill, right? It's like um a weed pill. It's like weed oil in it or whatever, I guess. Man. Man, I um I took this pill or whatever. It's a hundred milligram capsule now, y'all. Now listen to this. Don't take no 100 milligrams of no THC into your body. <laughs> I took the whole bitch. I'm like, I'm about to take it. Mind you, it's like 8 a.m. I'm like, fuck it. I ain't got nothing to do today. Yeah, for sure. It's early. Oh, my God. I think you picked me up. You picked me up. 
So he take me here because I left my car here. <laughs> so he bring me here to get my car. When I got on the freeway, I was praying to God. I said, just let me get home. I wanted to pull over. I said, if I pull this bitch over, I'm going to be out. I'm gonna be walking around somebody's <laughs> city doing random shit. I was, I've never been that high in my life. My God, that's it. I was like, oh, I'm almost there. I was shaking. I mean, like, it was a monkey on my back. I was so... <laughs> Hi. Then when I then when I got went to my mama house and I got to my mama house, her husband was there. I'm like, damn, he gonna know I'm high. It was just it was some crazy shit. Yeah, cause that shit had my head feel like it was bleeding, and my shit yeah. was like my like my motherfucking face was going inside my yeah. neck. Like I'm like, what the? You be fuck? feeling like weird yeah. shit like that be happening, man. Yeah. I'm that bitch. I, I'm about to make my last Facebook status because like I'm always about like dog. Your last Facebook status says a lot about you. So I'm that bitch like I love y'all. I care about y'all. <laughs> the hate about all his love. Good you know, night. I want to make my last paper stand like, nigga, y'all niggas weak as fuck, like some shit like that. But yeah, I, I thought I was gone. He said your last Facebook stand says a lot about you. I, it do, because you never know when you about to die. And you only as fucking famous as your last, like, like you don't want to post no fuck shit like, nigga, damn. I, I, I love a nigga. Some, this is some stupid shit. You ever look at niggas who do? I don't use Facebook. I know somebody who passed away and he left paper status like, bitches ain't shit. Like, nigga, that's your last words, nigga. Like, he probably fuck. died on the strength of that. <laughs> yeah, so for sure. Oh, bitches not being song. shit. For sure. Never know. I want my shit to be like something like classic. Like, nigga, live life to the fullest. Let me see what's my last <laughs> post. What did I post last? For real. Like, you gotta look at that shit. Like, if you, if you, if you go off this world right now, what's the last thing you fucking said? If I die right now, the last thing I said and said was, man, the last episode of Fresh Prince is sad. Laugh out loud. This is my last post. Said it was. It, so, this, but I was reposting what a guy said, and it said, "If you don't do shit, for your bitch, uh, she ain't supposed to listen." And I posted, and a dude said this. <laughs> my shit to my fresh prince of Will Smith. Best say something. <laughs> what about you, what? Tease? Are you had a high moment, jump moment recently? Uh, shit, hell no. Nah. I've been, I've been, I've been drinking every day. <laughs> but I be, I be, I be coasting my shit. Really? But however, look. See that with this camera? This camera? Look. You see that? Boom. This is not what you think it is. This is what you think it ain't is. Say that again. It's not what you think it is. It's what you think it ain't is. That don't make sense. Is that is that sense. Hennessy? Nope. See? It's, it's not, not what you think it is. It's what you think it ain't is. Boom. What I done partnered it? up with Hennessy. I only want to say Hennessy. I done partnered up with this company. And I got my own drink. It's called Tennessee. Look at that. You see that? Tennessee? It don't say Tennessee, but it's Tennessee. <laughs> is that Hennessy or not? Oh, look at the name. I know, but you probably got that no, printed no, out or no, something. No, it's real. <laughs> Everybody be on the lookout for this. It's coming out of the store soon. What we is it, Cognac? Yes, it's Cognac. We dropping this on the 11th of February, so stay tuned. <laughs> we dropping. This is how we getting drunk. It's gonna I'm be so it. stupid. I'm saying ass hey. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be in stores everywhere, nationwide, <laughs> and... Whenever you check out, like, cause I know a lot of people they do like that little self code shit when you order online. You checking out? Just say cheesy, and you gonna get motherfucking thirty five percent off this. <laughs> Boom. Boom. What shit? What shit? When we advertise, I got the little shirt, nigga. <laughs> I got the shirt line. I got the motherfucking music dropping. Cheesy should be dropping music, but he ain't. I I'm retired. The, I got the music dropping. I got the. Uh, I got to argue with one of my niggas over that, dog. dog Cause I don't rap. The clothes dropping. I got the motherfucking movie dropping. Uh, Chase gonna be in that shit. Yes. I know her shit. Dog, I'm about to get married. Uh, the podcast still going. Uh, shit, that's it. Dog. Talk got, about that midget strip club you about to open up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> midget strip club. Midros, like nigga. <laughs> But yeah, like half I, price. A lot of this shit, like during the quarantine <laughs> shit, I just been thinking about shit to make some extra. <laughs> I just cut on that. Make some extra bread. So as long as I can make some extra bread, we be good. What what's some shit? You, you say you you work you've been working during this whole quarantine. What's some shit you you can give out? Oh, they can um y'all can follow me on YouTube. Um, the Collected Thought, mm -hmm. and it's just Collected with a K, not a C. So mm -hmm. you can check my videos out on there. Hell yeah. So yeah, that's the whole thing. Like if we gonna be locked down and start thinking some shit to make some money or some shit to change some shit, man. Even if you don't get rich off this shit, just be like, I tried. You feel me? Yes. Anything y'all wanna say before we get off this motherfucker dog for uh you know saying my producer gotta go and shit do his shit? Shit, get nipples for them titties. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all give y'all head up. 
I'm out. Oh, yeah, get, get, where, where can I follow y'all? At, <laughs> at Chase <laughs> underscore West I said, I said, My nigga Cheese ain't got no see social. Me you see me. If you don't see me, you aren't supposed to. So yeah, with me, like you that. follow me on motherfucking Shavers, Shavers A by underscore podcast. And then I want to let y'all know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let us know what. Y'all don't, blow. Don't sleep with nobody. And don't, tell your girl don't put your fucking ass on your dick and you ain't about to get no pussy. That's how we gonna end it. Yeah, you know, because when you get the hard dick, you want the pussy. So don't tease me and then be like, I'm bleeding. Peace out. Soft, medium, hard. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> medium, soft. Don't forget the mediums. The medium, hey, the medium can, hard. Hey, but you can still hear a girl on motherfucking soft. But that bitch be flapping inside the pussy, then never see you know you feel a motherfucking dick. <laughs> That's that fish pin. Bye. Fish pin. <laughs> I cannot, y'all.